Shut up, listen up, everybody, what up? Gonna put it in the podcast, what's, what's up? We talk, we laugh, we sing, we dance, we will do anything if you give us a chance. We'll play one time, it'll help us out. All truth, no lies, no, it's never a doubt. If you like rants, tirades, and honest opinions, we shoot from the hip and we'll hear with precision. Give us one chance to play a Pinky Bros podcast. Oh, this is nice and sweet. Okay, well, you're gonna, all right. Are you recording already? Yeah. Oh, oh. man. Hello. Hey, welcome back, guys. We have a whole new episode of Los Pina Bros podcast. It's been six con- years. Six years. And five. Five, I don't know. Yeah, no, man. The last episode we did is uh, was an we old did. episode yeah, of that, Los that, Scary that. Bros. But I'm but excited. All together, though. All together. All together. Los Pina Bros have come back Because we're together. happy and we're colored. The trinity. The one true trinity. Yeah. Is back together. I'm here. I'm one of your hosts, Armando. I'm joined by Mr. Pina Zombie. Finally. And finally, yeah, we're allowed in the back together in the same room. Yeah. And this is the Alberto 333. Yeah. <laughs> restraining order, yeah. Oh no. Well, I'm glad that we're back together. It's been forever. Um, but I hope you guys are ready to listen to some bullshit because that's what we do here. We can't say that anymore. We're trying to be professional. We're trying bull to be stuff. Bull yeah. stuff. Bull hockey. <laughs> bull hockey. Bull hockey. <laughs> Man, we're going to give you some good bull hockey, so much bull yeah. hockey, make your head spin. Where'd you get that scar? Sucking on some pineapple? <laughs> <laughs> How you get a scar from eating pineapple? Man? No, <laughs> the be best so Cuban accent, you have a heart. Mm. <laughs> and get an Italian and play all the Latino parts. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Ooh, ah, yeah, who? Hey, I'm all Pacino. <laughs> I don't really play video games and I can't read the teleprompter. Yeah. But, uh... Rich! <laughs> Thank you, Will Patton, for chiming in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to do some new stuff. I mean, we'll get better at this, but yeah, this is for right now. Right now, we I think well, how long did we spend? It was like two hours. We were trying to get some new equipment, but <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, we're two hours trying to figure out this equipment that turned out to not work. Um, but maybe we'll get that a new a new equipment later on, and we'll start you know putting in more sound effects. <laughs> Why are you doing this, huh? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Oh man, he's, he's wrapped gay. up in something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, damn, I don't know. I don't even know where to start. I just want to say, like, since we're back together from a long time, uh, and I gotta notice that it's been a year, uh, since we. Started, which I don't think is right. I think no. it started before that. No, uh, uh, it, no, it's it been started a when Scream came out. No, it started before that. Their first episode oh, was Spider Man. No, still before it was Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon but, City. That was our first, I guess, unofficial episode. And but then, that was a year ago. Yeah, because well, Welcome the, to Raccoon City is a year old already. Yeah, Jesus because the second Christ. episode was about the video game awards, and that just came out. Okay, a little bit ago. So man, that movie sucked. <laughs> Which Resident Evil adaptation doesn't suck? What do you mean? Oh. All the Paul W. S. Anderson ones are great. Oh my god, we're gonna have to get into those. I won't. We're gonna. Ha- we should just do a video game month where we just go through all the shitty video games. What? Um, yeah, oh, what? Shit. Video, game, shitty video game movies. Too many. But um, the skitty video games. You yeah. can't say that word. Anymore. But you know, well, at least I'm excited. We've been doing this for about a year, inconsistently on and off. But it's man, it's been hard just because with this new super We're more flu. More consistent than Joan Matarea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's listening he's to this. Yeah. 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 You only... mother blitz <laughs> all night. <Yeah. laughs> We're like, who the fuck is Joe Matarea? Hey, hey, hey! No what? swear words. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Mad Joe... was. Yeah. Is is he still a comic book artist? He's everything. He he was like one of the he was one of my favorites in the nineties. He, he had, like, this anime influence that would... He was in the X-Men books. I think he started... He had one with, of the best Wolverines. He had one of the best... Yeah, the, I loved his Wolverine. He had Battle Chasers with Red Monica and her giant... Bazoos Monica's? Show. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, and then he just stopped. I think he went to go play video games. Yeah, he does Darksiders now. Yeah. <sighs> Whenever they come out with the game. Yeah, he just does the covers and stuff. But, um, but yeah, no. It's been a year... Uh, I think we've had some fun episodes. Uh, we've had the Elden Ring episode was our our highest listen. It's episode. like at fifty something listens. And yeah, you don't tell one game of the year. 
Yeah, it did. <laughs> For being one of the most reused asset video games of all time. Man, Man, if see if we had that thing working, we would have just had the bullet, the the sound effects for the bullets, and we could have said yeah. shots fired. <laughs> but uh, what else? I mean, it's no. So thank you for everybody for listening. Um, yeah, anybody who's ever clicked on an episode, clicked on anything that we promote, thank you, thank especially you, especially Germany. Danke, yeah, Ger- <laughs> Danke. Guten Tag. Yeah, yeah. For, I think like a four percent. Our, yeah. our fans are over there. So I a los mexicanos, gracias, cabrón. Yeah. yeah. Um, Americana. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it's it's been great. Our Valentine's Day episode was also listened to a, uh, a lot. Our The Batman episode. There's been a couple of them. The the scary Pina Bros ones were... There was good good amount of listens on those. Yeah, I think people like scary stories. Yeah. So. I mean, just I'm just going to put that out there. But, you know, we... We meant to do more with that series, but yeah, timing, getting together is really hard when you have families, multiple families, and, you know, all these things coming up, so... I don't you think know, we have to do them all in October. Like, we can still do Scary Bros episodes. We can still do some. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know, I was planning on doing, like, some sort of... Uh, that's what I was trying to say, is if you could mute your phone somehow. I have no idea. You have no idea how to mute it. I don't it. know how to mute it. I don't know how to do mm. things. Huh? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is a man. case, right? Yeah, that is a case. Can uh, you take it off? Oh, this is going to make uh, more noise. Yeah, just leave it. Because it, it has to be a button on the side. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so, all right. You know what? Let's just go into the first thing uh, on the list. All right. Well, first, you know, uh, I just wanted uh, to give out... Um, an in memoriam. Um, last time we talked, this is before uh, Kevin Conroy had passed away. Mm. Um, he was my Batman. I think he was uh, like everybody's, everybody's Batman. Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I think he's the universal Batman. He was the voice of Batman since 1992. Um, he had passed away at 67 years old. Yes. Um, so we love you, Kevin. And we're drinking uh, cerveza right now. So salute to you, my yeah. friend. Um, I'm hoping we can do an episode just on Kevin Conroy and like the best Batman um, performances he gave us. Um, all of them? All of them. But it's moments specifically from his run as Batman because he was the longest running Batman um, going on 30 years. So thank you, Kevin. Um, also, to, let's see, Carlos Pacheco, who was another comic book artist that sadly passed away this year. Um, he did... Uh, he worked for the big two, Marvel and DC. He, I remember you just seeing his art um, in X Men in the early two thousands, um, drawing everybody's favorite character, Maggot. Um, the best, yeah, right there with skin. <laughs> and uh, he did one of the Jeff Loeb runs of Superman and Batman, um, where he, Super and Batman were like tyrants. That one was a that was a good uh, couple of issues run. Uh, with Pacheco, but obviously his work spans decades. So, you know, salute to you. Um, and then finally, recently, um, I grew up on Sesame Street. Um, oh yeah, uh, Bob Bob McGrath died ninety years old, which I can't believe that they're that old. But I mean, he must have lived a he lived a long life. Um, he he played Bob. He was one of the regulars on Sesame Street since it's like started. Um, so yeah, this year's been kind of tough on people, but I figure we kind of. You know, give all those people, you know, a toast. Yeah, every, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there are uh, some other people. I'm forgetting who. I mean, there have been Jason quite a David few Frank. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god! Like, yes, all, yeah, see, him, Coolio. Um, oh yeah. You know, I'll defend that song till the day I die. I think it's the best. Gangsta's like, Paradise. Yeah, like it, it, it cannot be touched. Yeah, it's gotten to the point where it's kind of cheesy, but like. Dangerous taking lines, it man. out yeah. like by itself, really listening to it is like, whoa, you know. So yeah, to to everyone like yeah, Tommy the Green Power Ranger man, everyone's it's... favorite. I mean, he was he wasn't my favorite, uh, but I know what he meant to a lot of people out there. I remember yeah. when he passed away. I went to go give Alex a hug. He's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Like Tommy died, man. Like he was your ranger. He was yeah. Dean's ranger, yeah. like." Like you guys, he, he cared. He cared about his fans, and like you can see videos of him just the way he would talk to fans, and you know Saban, he he fucking promoted the crap out of Power Rangers. 
You know, some people would be like, oh, yeah, I did that back in the 90s. You know, it's not who I am. He, he owned it. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. It's, and I don't know. You know, I see people do this all the time. But, yeah, there's always help out there. I don't have the phone numbers or anything, but you can Google it. There's there, there's help, you know. Uh, Mental health is a big issue going yeah, on with everybody. For everybody. It's not something to laugh at. And, no. You know, it's, but, you know, yeah, anyways. Um, yep. But cool. we just want to say, yeah. you know, salute to all of them. Um, I'm sure they're all in a better place now. Thank you for memories. Uh, yeah. Thank you for your inspiration. Thank you for our childhoods. Um, yeah. And I think that's a big thing of our podcast is a lot of the things we talk about is our childhood memories. And these people were a part of our childhood. Sesame Street was a big part of us. Power Rangers, Batman, um, you know, all these things probably shaped us into the people we are today. So thank you, um, good sirs, for the memories. Um, but with that, uh, why don't we pass on to usually our opening segment is... Uh, what have we been watching? It's been a while since we've all been together in the same room, and we've been watching, we've been playing. Um, yeah. Who wants go to go ahead. first? I haven't, yeah, I mean, you haven't spoken. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, saw, we, we saw a bunch of movies that you haven't seen, so I mean, you, you should we, see. Yeah, well, for, yeah, for Thanksgiving, know. we had, um, I never saw, and I've never seen Goodfellas, so as long as I could remember... I've always wanted to see Goodfellas. Yeah, yeah. Gotta uh, go get the papers, get the papers. Yeah, so me... <laughs> Tommy two times. Yeah. Me and Alex, find, or, uh, he put on Goodfellas for me. We saw that. Uh, we saw The Departed. Um, what, what do you want? You want them to chop me up and feed me to the poor? Is that what you yeah, want? Yeah. It's like, hey, well, he, she fell funny, man. I, oh, The Departed. <laughs> Goodfellas, I'm gonna steal what Bethine says. Let me just say this. Goodfellas, very good movie. I prefer The Departed. Wait, you... What, you... Stealing that from me or what? Yeah, because you always say, "Let me just say this." Let me. Oh, say let me. Yeah, let me. I'm say just gonna this. say. I'm just, just gonna, gonna say, say this. Yeah. Um, Goodfellas, oh, I sorry. enjoyed. I enjoyed. I, mean, I think I was expecting something else. I think The Departed is still strong, still holds up. Um, oh, I'll I'll watch that movie every year. Like the Goodfellas, I can probably go on and be like, eh, maybe if someone else wants to see it and puts it on, I'll watch it. But The Departed, I'll probably go out of my way to be like, you know what? Today feels like a departed type of day. So, you know, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Can't say that. <laughs> the We're trying to go yeah. mainstream. I'm sorry, yeah. Well, that was in context of the movie. But thank you, uh, Scorsese. Do you want to be a cop or do you want to appear yeah. to be a cop? Yeah. yeah. He's a cop. He's it's a an honest question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look how he spells citizens yeah. with an I. <laughs> That's not right. Um, You're but, a yeah. cop. <laughs> we we've been watching a lot i think uh you also put on baby driver by edgar wright yeah you saw we watched a lot of movies you need to watch lot. we yeah. saw your, an edgar wright movie that you'd never watch we saw magnolia we dude saw and Goodfellas. it didn't make sense at the end they lied to us <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it made sense at the end oh my god no it didn't um but magnolia was good Although Tom Cruise was playing Tom Cruise. Like, I've seen his interview. There was an interview where, I guess, when he had broken up with Nicole Kidman. Mm. And it was basically almost word for word when they're questioning him. It's like, no, these are your answers. You're trying to find out. Like, you know what? You're, you're passing. There's a line. You're passing a line. Okay? No, no. Take responsibility. Like, the way he talks. He's, have you ever seen he's that? He's so intense. Where, where someone, I think, was going to interview him, pretending to. Mm. And then they squirted water in his face and... And Why would he you do was that? like, Why would you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was very like, no, 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 don't run away. Yeah. Come back. Why would I'm you? scared. Yeah, I'm scared it's... of Tom Cruise. Well, yeah. I love scary. Tom Cruise's acting. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, it's, I don't know. But no, Alex, take it away. You saw Glass Onion. How was Glass Onion? You hated oh, the yeah. first one. I, I hated mean, you, the first one. Yeah, I was just going to say, you don't have to go into them, but you can just say what what you have seen or played. And... I mean, yeah, I don't even, uh, like, I haven't really watched, I mean, that's probably the only day I watched movies when it was, yeah, we went through Magnolia, we went through Gl uh, Goodfellas, we saw The Departed again. Copland by uh, James Oh, yeah, Mangold. we saw Copland, yeah, that one, yeah, that James Mangold? Yeah, yeah, that James Mangold. We tend yeah. to Yuma, Logan, Wolverine, and upcoming Indiana Jones. Yeah, that, that one was good, um, I never seen it before, that is a great cast of characters, that is Harvey Keitel, uh, Ray Liotta, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty good movie. Um, I, I think, I don't know, like, is it forgotten or like, and no one talks about it, but it's a pretty I, good movie. Could, yeah, I think it was forgotten. I, I, I mean, I was just going to say, cause me cool, and yeah. work Alex were talking about it 
not too long ago, but I, I think it came out during a time where people were just like tired of those people. I think they were tired um, of Stallone around that point. Yeah. It was like right before he came back with Rocky Balboa. It was like he was in that in daylight. And it wasn't, it's not an action pack movie. Like, it's not a Stallone action pack movie. It's no, a, it's not. It's a drama. It's a Miramax movie. Um, like The Crying Game? Yeah. Um, don't, don't, do not spoil the ending to that. No. To the, uh, Clerks 3. Wow, well, we haven't talked since then. Clerks 3. Clerks I like Clerks 3. Clerks 3. Yeah. Um, again, like, I, I want to say, when I saw the beginning of them, I mean, I was excited as hell for that movie. And then I bought it at like midnight to watch it. And. I want to say the first 20 minutes to 30 minutes of that movie suck. Um, <laughs> I think it's bad. And then as it goes on, I think it becomes like one of the best movies he's ever made. Like, I, I think I told you he can stop making movies after this. Like, I think it puts the final dot. It's, like, the, it's, it's the, the mic drop. Yeah, I, I think it's it's a very serious movie at the like by the end. And For it Kevin feels Smith. good. Um, like, but, I feel like they ended it like he could stop making movies. And I'd be like, yeah, he did. He did what he set out to do. He went out with a bang. I think it. I think it's a good movie. Um, I mean, it's great that you say that because I I liked it, um, and yeah, I wasn't expecting expecting it to be that serious. Uh, and then you know, of course, I always go online and see what other people think, and a lot of people, yeah, he should stop. He messed up. Like once he started doing Jay and Silent Bob reboot, that all his movies have been trash. And I mean, I don't know. I I liked it. Sometimes it is over the top. Like some of the <laughs> acting is like a little corny or something but but i still liked it i I think everything was earned and it felt right it was Um, very cathartic i think like uh, i think over the top yes because and and and, and saying what bettin said and alex were saying i like i felt dante because it's always a relation between dante and randall's best friends yeah dante and uh i felt that dante's acting in the beginning felt very over the top because I know yeah. he was going through things. But as the movie went on, like the second half of the movie, Dante is, I'm all in on Dante. Like, he probably has an MVP um, acting in that one. Not to say all the other acting is like, you know, bull or whatever. But usually, Randall always has the best lines. Yeah, Dante is the straight man. But in here, I felt like Dante had a lot to say. And man, and then, oh, just... Just that ending, I was... I mean, I think you spoil it. I nah, I mean... Well, I, well, I'm just saying, I think we should move but, on and go to talk what else. I mean, I, I was just going to say Callisto Protocol. You've been playing that. Yeah, um, I played that. Impressions. Um, it's fine. Um, it's, a, <laughs> it's a C. Um, yeah. it, it's... The way I've been talking about it is that Dead Space is alien because it's the scary one. And then Callisto Protocol is Aliens. Not saying that it's, like, better. I don't know. I mean, people have their opinions on what's better. But Aliens is more action-packed than scary. And that's what Callisto Protocol is. It doesn't feel scary. I don't feel scared in that game. I feel like I could take on the world in that game. And it's brutal and it's cool. It misses a lot of marks. It has a good cast of characters in there. It has Sam Witwer in it. It has Josh... What Dumel? Dumel. 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 And, uh, Karen Fukuhara. Fukuhara, yeah. Um, From the boys. And like that's you got cool people in there. I think they're all wasted. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you do enough with anybody there. Um but I mean I'm excited to see what a sequel would bring. Uh I don't I was expecting a lot, and I'm the first person to call anyone out on like you're not fulfilling that, but um I think like I'm not mad, I'm not disappointed. I'm not overwhelmed. I'm not underwhelmed. It's it's fine. You're how Robin would say in Young Justice, whelmed. Yeah, You're just whelmed. Yeah. So what was that? Glass Onion, though. Yeah, good. It should this this should have been the first one. It was an actual who done it. Yeah, Thanks, it. Ryan Johnson, so for who, not lying to me. So I've never seen it, the so. first one. I like the first. The first one's all right, but Alex is right. It's not so much as who did it. I you know or why. It's just like you just can't. It's just seeing the the breakdown of the family. I think. And how much all these suspects are dicks. And, but, like, the, the, yeah, you know who did it by the, like, the first ten minutes in the movie. The first one? In the first one, yeah. Like, you, they tell you who did it. And it's just that person trying to stay one step ahead oh. of Daniel Craig. Oh. But, like, you have a cast of characters like Don Johnson, Tony Collette, 
Michael Shannon, Jamie Lee Curtis. I will find him. Um, yeah. And then that girl from Bullet Train. Uh, I forget her name. The Morenita? No, the the daughter or whatever. Logan Lerman's sister. Michael Shannon. No, Michael Shannon's with her again in there. Oh, the little... The, the, the girl from... She, she looks like the Spy Kids mom. Like a mini like version, a mini version? Of Carla Gugino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know who you're talking about. She's Her. in a lot of Amazon Prime movies, um, but yeah, the little the one yeah. that talks British and Bullet Train. Yeah. She's in there, and like you have a great cast of characters, and they're there for five seconds. Oh, we don't care about it. the only ones we care about is Chris Evans and Ana de Armas, and that's it. And like, why have a big cast of characters that are so awesome, and they're wasted? I think their moments aren't as big. Like, you, yeah, you have Jamie Lee Curtis, and there's little moments peppered throughout with them, but it's like you want more from those people because you hardly see them together in a room. Yeah. And it's like a, a bouquet of, like, who you want to see in a movie. In a movie. A bunch and of MVPs in a movie, and it's like, eh. Yeah, like, Clue, which came out years before, is in great. The 80s, that, that's that movie. It's great, and you don't know who did it, and everyone's great in it, and it's like, oh, it's, an... no. it's a great movie. Great movie. But well, at least you but, like Glass Onion. Yeah, I mean, they did what I wanted them to do where they played the Glass Onion song from the Beatles. Oh, and I was yeah. pissed because I was like, they're not song. playing it. <laughs> they're not going to play it. And then they even, they teased me because Ed Norton plays Blackbird. And I'm like, how are you going to play how Blackbird <laughs> and not play Glass Onion? But then they did. And I'm like, thank the Lord. Uh-huh. If they didn't do that, Ryan Johnson, you can go to hell with The Last Jedi or whatever <laughs> Jedi yeah, movie that's... you made. The the waste of time. Star Wars and the waste of time. He made Stab <laughs> Eight, man. Remember? Yeah. Uh, what about you, Betty? What have you been watching, playing? Um, I mean, on Netflix, I've just been watching Ninety Days In, or Sixty Days In. Um, What's that? It's just a reality show. It's kind of interesting that these people volunteer to go to jail, yes, and they spend sixty days in jail just to get the experience or find out how people are moving stuff around. And they work with the sheriffs and the... So it's like secret boss or whatever, but you just yeah. said that. Yeah, undercover, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's Undercover all, brother? Yeah. yeah. So, That's I mean, movie. it's interesting because you do see, like, like it is, it's dangerous in jail. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> that, we're uh, not racist. That's from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. <laughs> no, but doesn't, doesn't Dave Chappelle do that too? Does he do that? And, and undercover and brother? I don't know. He's yeah, I know always, he's paranoid he's always ta- Yeah, because he's always talking crap about, Did like, you hear that? about the man. Like, oh, you the man, right? The white kryptonite. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, man. Let's see. I, I don't know if you guys played that uh, Shadows of Rose for Village, Resident Evil. No, uh, I, I haven't. I, I bought it. How was um, it? It sucks. Yeah, that's what, uh-huh. that's what the consens- consensus was, that it didn't offer much. It does and, and, Yeah, not anything really there there's i cannot believe it took them this long to come up with that and they they probably space it out so that you know they can make up all these lies oh we wanted to really bundle it for the player and uh, no wait when did it, village come out it came out like a this year, year ago, a year huh? ago. yeah it came out last ago. year so i think that's why they're supporting it now so that you know generate more sales because it's been stagnant like a few months. Wait, so what? What's that? Shadows of the Rose. So it's a DLC add-on. It's a story addition to Village. It's like an epilogue to it. Yeah. But you play Rose, and it's third person. Yeah. And did they all? Because don't can't you play her in the main story as well in third person? No, you do not play. No, you oh, play. it's an epilogue. What's with the name her. of the dude again? Uh waste Ethan. of time. <laughs> waste of time. Yeah, waste of time. Winters. W. Uh, yeah. Old man Winters. Ethan. Ethan. Um, but. So that could be beaten like in an hour, I think, probably less. Uh, and it's just was it expensive for a DLC, if, especially I, for I that? I'm forgetting short how much time. it was. Maybe twenty, twenty Dang, something. But for like an hour. But, or two? so I used the gift card and okay, brought it yeah. down to like ten bucks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, which I think is okay. But yeah, it's that story edition, and then um, Reverse. third person. Oh. For for the main game, oh, and okay. then yeah. extra characters for like the mercenaries. mercenaries, and so those extra characters are locked from the beginning. So mm-hmm. You had to play that mercenaries, mercenaries in oh, order to unlock them, which is stupid. Um, and then yeah, that Shadows of Rose is just mm-hmm. um, it doesn't offer much, uh, if anything. The the trailer, the way it played, like oh, there's gonna be more to. Um, I'm already the merchant, you know, the, oh, the yeah. really fat guy. Uh, 
What are you buying? Yeah, like there, there's a mystery around him, and everyone was speculating. Oh, is this gonna reveal this about him? Nothing, nothing yeah. happens. Um, so yeah, I would not recommend it. You can watch it in a playthrough on YouTube. Yeah. Um. Well, but... you saying that, I think that that feels like actual content. And and people are complaining about it. I mean, maybe it sucks. I mean, I'm the first person to call Resident Evil out. But I'm going to go oh, out on a tangent and be that. Except for the movies. No, yeah. Paul the L.B.S. Anderson can oh, do no wrong. Yeah. Um, especially Mila Jovovich. Yeah. But um, Elden Ring. What a waste of time. In... They, they said, oh, we're bringing out DLC. And what do they do? They open doors to a coliseum. Oh. That's it. No act, no added NPCs, no added bosses, no added story, no added anything. It's been a year, and they opened a set of doors and wow. said, "Hey, there's multiple. There's been multiplayer in that game, so now you just but, fight in a coliseum." But it's three on three. Yeah, but but you... it's really just mul- It's no anything. It's just I me. I don't personally care for multiplayer in that game. I don't care for multiplayer in any of the Soulsborne games. And yeah, it's mm-hmm. preferred option, but. Campaign, like, campaign is actual content. I, I'm i not missing out on anything playing, not playing multiplayer, besides, I guess, I you know. I see what you mean. And everyone is jerking them off. I mean, yeah, that's... Elden, oh, wait. Elden Ring! Oh, Can... three on three! Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God! Oh, my no God. No yeah. way! <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is... A I was year just saying, in. This is the... I'm, I'm sure this is the first of many planned DLC for Elden Ring, but... They should have been two months into the game. So you think they'll open windows for the second deal? Maybe. <laughs> I, I mean, whoa, I don't... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's too much. God, yeah. like, yeah. I, I really don't get it. I really don't get it. If if this was any other company, any other person that did, like, oh, we're just going to add in a little bit more multiplayer than we already had, people would be like, how dare you just yeah. come out with this? But they're like, no, just, oh, God, God, Elden Ring. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, everybody... The gaming world is so, yeah. I don't even want to start a fight with them because yeah, they'll defend things to the death, and then but as soon as they get screwed over, like on a pre-order bonus, then it's like pitchforks. But whatever. I mean, I, yeah, I'm just saying that Resident Evil DLC is not worth it. Um, if you can get it at a cheap price, five bucks, cool. What do you say? Because saying? that's that's really what it's worth. Yeah. Um, I mean, the other thing that's very upsetting is. It reuses the entire village world again. Um, Except that you're just playing the guy's daughter. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's just... That's enough of that. But I, um, I'll buy it. It's a low price. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, Evil Dead, the game, I played a little bit. Yeah. Do not buy it. No, that's a waste. Um, yeah, that was that's what I was telling you, is that it looks great. Yeah. I was excited for it. I love Bruce Campbell. I'll die on that hill of, you know, Evil Dead 2... Um, but like, if it has no story, what's, yeah, no, I, and I was trying to explain to Katrina real quick, like the thing about the state of video games now is like creating yeah, this, I don't know why you picked it, uh, cause this is what I was drinking last time, <laughs> like drink, drinking some anti-hero cause that's going to be our main topic today, yeah. a little later, um, like making asymmetrical multiplayer games and, uh, and it, it just sucks because for a franchise like Evil Dead, yeah, it has its fans, but I don't think they're rushing out the door to buy a multiplayer only game. Um, I don't and, think there's enough of a fan base that would buy it just for yeah. Yeah, I, and and that's the thing. Like, how long is this game gonna last? Mm-hmm. And then they're eventually gonna be like, okay, we're not gonna support it anymore. What are you supposed to do at that point? Like, will the game function? Will they make it so that you can? play against like bots and stuff like it yeah you know it's just i don't think it's gonna last and the game is already small from what i can see mm. so yeah i return that to game stuff but <laughs> and they're like we understand yeah um but yeah i was just gonna say we can take a quick break right now We're no no the... no not yet because i wanted to say something about video games nope no, nope. no, 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 nope. So, so I had said previously in podcast in uh, our episodes that I would never play first person. And when me and Alex were hanging out, he put on Resident Evil Seven, Biohazard, uh, Biohazard. and and I, I I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. 
we've been playing it like late at night whenever I stay over his house. Um, but I also found out I, I can't do first person for more than like 45 minutes before I want to like throw up. I get nauseous. <laughs> And I'm like, what? And I, at first, I think you thought I was like messing with you. I'm like, I feel sick. Like, why am I? Like, I really feel sick. And it's not because the content of the story, although some parts are gross or whatever. Maybe it's because you keep crouching every time you run. Yeah, right? I run while I'm yeah. crouching. <laughs> That's was, what. I, yeah. yeah, you're twerking like she hold. Yeah, man, I gotta twerk it. Um, Colonel, but, I'm trying um, to sneak around, but I'm too dummy thick. Yeah. yeah, but I've I've been enjoying it. I was telling you that. I think so. Like the story so far is, well, we haven't really gotten into the story, but the atmosphere and stuff. I'm enjoying the Louisiana swamp type of area, like almost Texas Chainsaw Massacre aesthetic, and um, like if this wasn't re like it doesn't seem like a Resident Evil game. At least we haven't gotten to that point where maybe a monster or two have come out that look Resident Evil ish, but like there's no zombies, and and like but the scares or whatever so far has been strong enough that I could be like i i could have i could enjoy this as its own thing so so but it doesn't feel like it fits in the resident evil universe other than you're in a haunted house type of deal like the first resident evil game but it's because yeah. the residents are evil oh shit i <laughs> <laughs> get it now they why didn't they call it residents evil <laughs> the evil resident but but ethan is one of the worst characters at least the I don't know if it's the actor or the script because he's just like, oh, my hand fell off. Yeah, my foot got chopped off. Yeah, oh, my <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. My wife tried to chainsaw me in the face. Oh. I just found my Talk wife that's been missing for three years in a cell and I opened it. And my first question is, what's going on? Yeah. What are you up to? Yeah, like, what is that? Like, baby, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? What's going No, it's like, hey. Can you give me the password to our Netflix account? Because I got locked out. <laughs> do you want to leave? Yeah. Do you, do you, we can you... stay in the cell. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the Four Seasons. Um, but yeah. What but an imbecile. Everyone's going to get upset that you're talking trash about this one. <laughs> but, oh my God. I, I said I liked it. And I said nope, I never play first person. Enough. Well, you enough. know what? We will take a quick break. Uh, listen to our sponsor. We'll be back. And then we're going to talk. Our main topic today is... Blitz! All... <laughs> Night! Yeah. And then she said she's never seen a chorizo that big. Um, uh, <laughs> we're never going to go pro. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Go All right. Pro. So, uh, going to refer back to this episode. He said chorizo. What, oh, what yeah. are you talking about? Wait, we're Mexican. Mexicans eat chorizo con huevo, you know? Oh, now Mexicans eat chorizo. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. You know, I was looking at this. We're drinking um, Anti Hero IPA. Um, and I. And well, let's name all the products, yes. even the shirts and caps that we wear, yeah. so we get sponsored. It's mm -hmm. uh, it, I thought it said an American hop assailant, but oh, it's yeah. hop assault. Oh. So, but oh. um, our next topic, guys, uh, there's been a bunch of trailers coming out. Um, Trailer, trailers, and I just want one of our one of our fans was asked me last night if we had seen the trailer Mando. for yeah. <laughs> Um, he was asking uh, what we thought about uh, the new trailer for the upcoming Transformers movie. Uh, be was it Rise of the Beast? Rise of the Beast, yeah. So Rise of the Skywalker. Oh God, no. Let's not. No, let's not. Oh. Yeah. You don't talk about that. Upsetting. What? Yeah. What's upsetting? <laughs> so, Ten years of garbage. <laughs> yeah. Star Wars. So, I mean, I don't know. That's probably a whole episode. Yeah, that's two we, episodes. That, see, we're going out for ten. You can yeah. help me out of those episodes. God, I'll just okay, come okay, in and okay. Track. Just like when Han Solo says, "That's not how the Force works." Someone should have told like Ryan Johnson and J.J. Abrams, like, "That's not how Star Wars works." Okay. <laughs> or, or when he said, Harrison Ford said, "I'm Conan." I think what? like. Uh, yeah, people can ask me questions as long as it doesn't pertain to Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, do, oh, I think that was on, was it Jimmy Kimmel? Oh, maybe Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel. It's yeah. like, uh, and they're all dressed in Star Wars, <laughs> and they're like, uh, do you like movies? <laughs> like, yeah. It's like another guy dressed up as like a Jedi, and it's like, are you hungry? <laughs> it's like, no. And what was the other? And then Chewbacca's like, you son of a. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But uh, but no, we were talking about this um, a little off off the mic earlier today. Um, I I've never liked any of the Transformers movies. What do you mean? 
Bumblebee. Well, well, yeah. Besides the last one, which was Bumblebee, which at this point I don't even know. Are they still connected on the same timeline? They, they from what I read, no. That that Bumblebee, they they made certain scenes where it if it bombed, it could fit into the originals. Yeah. But that it's enough of its own thing where it could spin off and be a reboot. Which I think they should stick with that. Yeah, I I mean now, yeah, I think that's that's the case. So this this yeah. upcoming one has uh the the Maximals from the nineties cartoon show Beast Wars. Beast Wars dun -dun 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 -dun. I, you, we have to cut out the last. No, we have to cut. Oh, now we have to cut Did all that. Oh, <laughs> don't sue Beast us, Hasbro. Beast <laughs> War. That's yeah, our the rest of the podcast. Episode. Episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. you're but, not even saying the word. Terrorize, flash penetrator. That's just pride. <laughs> so I think that that says Beast War. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, how can you not get hyped when someone's yeah. telling you, "Hey, what?" <laughs> Beast war. I that was the only thing missing from the trailer. You yeah, know what? The it, only thing missing. This should do one like that. But I was just reading that that I guess in Canada they were called beasties. <laughs> beasties. <laughs> Jeez. Beastie Boys? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Beast I almost spit that out like ah uh. Because it was better. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, this I mean this IPA it just it's just yeah, it tastes like grapefruit, but I like the fact that it gets me drunk pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> and you too can get drunk by <laughs> yeah. anti hero maximize. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. Drive responsibly. Um that's your transformer, yeah. 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 <laughs> but uh the trailer looked good. I'm excited. Um you get two two Optimus Primes. Basically, um, and Primal schooler. yeah, well, I always like, I always liked, um, the giant gorilla, but I was, yeah, like I was telling you guys, I was surprised that he's actually big, like bigger than he was in the show, but I guess that makes sense because he'd be a tiny robot fighting giant robots. Um, he'd but yeah, win. but what do you, what do yeah, you guys think I about mean, the trip? I, I was just going to say that because some people were saying, aren't they the wrong size and stuff? And aren't they supposed to blend in? And you know what? I, I don't care. Uh, I mean, to me, this looks good, and there are certain things you have to change. Yeah, um, it's an adaptation. Because, yeah, yeah they're, they're they're with humans in the real world right now, whereas in the show they were in a time kind of before humans, kind of. Yeah, there was only um, like the end, the end, yeah, the end yeah. Those, yeah. So, so yeah, it's different. It's not the same. But I'm excited to see what they're gonna do. Uh, someone else has said the CGI doesn't look that great to me. Fine. Have I, I you I don't seen care. the Michael Bay I mean, ones? See, yeah. but but that's the There's thing. There's nothing though, to see. The the quality. <laughs> There's too much of the CGI in those films is great, but it's the direction they took. They're overcomplicated. Yeah, I don't know where the face is. Yeah, and I don't know where anything. My understanding is Michael Bay wanted them to look alien, and for what? Like, I the thing that kind of gets to me is like, why do you want to go all in and like? the lore and like yeah they're alien they should look alien but then not care about story at all like just just admit that you messed up with the designs <laughs> you know like so these look cool um i'm excited uh i already told you guys earlier i mean i'm not gonna get into it again because you know, this is exactly you know, the time you should I, be yeah i know it. but I, I feel look i'm just excited because they're getting their due and i hope the movie does really well because <clears throat> I grew up with Beast Wars. Those characters are very dear to me. Um, you know, some of them, I, I wish more would come out. Like, uh, rat, I mean, may, rat, maybe rat. they might the only come cool out. Only cool but um, Splinter. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, seeing the Maximal logo in that Beast War, uh, be, uh, Transformers. Transformers, like, logo, like... They didn't have to show it. Yeah, they did. Yeah. But... But damn, like that gets me giddy. I I feel, I feel great. I feel like a kid, and I'm super hyped. I'm excited. Yeah, I I mean I think it, like if it was done by Michael Bay, and they came out, I think we'd just be like, man, they just ruined another thing. Yeah. But they look cool. Like everyone looks, you know where their face is located. <laughs> yeah. I mean they look cool, and like I was telling you uh, earlier, like 
Well, Optimus Prime comes in and he starts holding the blaster to Optimus Prime. Yeah. What are you holding that up to yeah. my guy for? <laughs> yeah. He'd whoop your ass. I mean, you are you have an awesome voice, but Optimus Prime will got you beat. They got Ron Perlman talking. Yeah, Optimus Ron Prime. Perlman. Is Ron he? Per- yeah. yeah, that's Ron Perlman. I, yeah. Oh, that's kind of weird. No, oh, well, that the actor that talks him in the cartoons and talking. I, I, I don't know if he passed away. I have to double check. But, uh, but yeah, but you're right. Because... If this was any other like movie, they they first you'd see them throwing punches, you know, monkey paw with like blaster, and then here he's like, I'm not your enemy. Like yeah. after the bat, and you're like, you know what? What's better than one Optimus Prime? Two. Yeah, you get you get and you, like you get they, just, they look cool. Everyone looks cool. Uh, it it looks like a good movie, and that's not something I expect from Transformers. Yeah. I don't expect that, it to look good after how many movies, and you already yeah, you're not expecting that, but. Just, and yeah, he comes out and he's full force, and it's cool. It's cool to see Primal because that that is our childhood. Like, yeah. I don't care for the Transformers. Maybe that's blasphemy, but I don't care. Um, I don't the thing is that you don't care, but it's you grew up. You're in that generation that your first Transformers was Beast Wars. Yeah, but I also like. I don't know. I I think Beast Wars just does because Transformers takes place on Cybertron or whatever with the two astronauts. It takes that place go here. It takes place. Oh, does here. it? Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, the future well. of 1984. Oh, but yeah, it's, there's like two humans in there, and I don't care about. We that. we should bring Rams onto the podcast. He'll he'll he can teach us a whole lesson on that. <laughs> Beast Wars just had everything. Like it's cool to see animals transforming. Dinobot is the coolest goddamn yeah. transformer ever, and like just the amount of emotion that goes into that story, and like how it's taken. It's taken so seriously, and. I don't even think we have cartoons or, like, animations that are taken that seriously now. But there's, like, I'm going back to, like, Kevin Conroy, Batman, the animated series, taken super seriously. Everybody gives it their all. The acting's on point. It's just They have perfect. character arcs. Yeah, it's it's perfect. I mean, it's... It's not like, we're going to fight evil robots next week. I'm like, sure, you I will. Mean, it, it, but actually, the first few episodes are like that. Well, yeah. Of. But, but yeah, I was telling Alex, yeah, then they started getting into it. And really, like, you know, there were story arcs and character arcs. Yeah. And... Yeah, like, whenever you see Dinobot eat it the first time, it's depressing. Like, that Dinobot, Dinobot has one of the coolest arcs. I'm a bad guy, but you know what? I'm not, it's not working out here. I'm going to go be the good guys. Yeah. And he's just a badass anti-hero character there. And then they clone him. And what are we drinking? Yeah. Anti-hero. <laughs> and then they clone him. And then he saves the day again. And then, oh, was it Primal? is like, come with us. Mm-hmm. And he's like, nah, I don't belong here. And he just blows on like, goddamn Dinobot <laughs> is the best. Dino-Bot. And he has the yeah. weapon, which is just awesome. It's, um, yeah, I mean, this this movie, again, I've the last, the Bumblebee one was a very good movie. It, it hit you in nostalgia because it's in the 80s. This one's in the 90s. They said Peacemaker um, was in that movie. Or, yeah. John Cena? I couldn't see him. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why. I don't know. They said he was in it. Unless he's wearing a helmet, I can't see him. Um, but yeah, John Cena's in that movie. Um, Haley Steinfeld. Um, check out Bumblebee. Um, that's a good movie. But yeah, like, uh, what's, what's a girl? They, they put female robots in RC. here. RC, RC, right? And, and she looks great yeah, in CGI. She, like... Yeah, she looks good. Yeah, like if you it could was, tell where it is. Yeah, you could. Well, <laughs> if it was Michael Bay, they'd, he'd put like two. Never mind. Yeah, he, uh, he, he'd he'd sexually royally, probably sexualize yeah, that robot. Yeah, because didn't he? They had a female uh, transformer in the second one, right? Where it tries to seduce Sam with Wiki in college. Yeah, and it's, oh. it's like, oh my god, dude, no, come on. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I mean, they look like, and they don't look cheesy. They they have the right balance of cartoon and I guess. I know live action sounds like dumb, but the, it hits the right balance for being, you know, in a live action movie. Yeah, it looks realistic enough. Yeah, and then also the two final points, unless you guys want to chime in anything else, is like I know <clears throat> the they focus more on the robot characters, which I was like cool because it's always like Shia LaBeouf running. No, 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 no. Oh, and, Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, <laughs> and. Uh, and then here you focus more on the robots. Like you see that there's that's human what we're characters. That's coming to see. That's yeah, sad. that's exactly what we're coming to see. We're not waiting an hour to like. We're, like, where's Optimus in this fucking movie? Um, so I, I like. Swear I, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Uh, wait, can we say Jesus Christ? Blitz! <laughs> but um, killing me. Up. But I also like that there are 
Latino characters again. And I know we bring up the Latino thing, or at least I do, but it makes me feel good I that we're being we're represented. In this movie. Yeah, well, I mean, I looked at <laughs> oh, I looked at the on the robot. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen this trailer like There's a Mexican times. robot. Yeah. No. Uh, Look, I'll, I'll say this. I mean, I was saying it earlier. The only thing, I guess two things that complaints about it. Uh, when they transform into the robot versions, um, they didn't look as colorful. They just kind of looked the same dark color. Mm. Um, and then I feel the transformation wasn't all that cool. Like how Optimus Primal, you know, when he would transform, his legs would 180. Yeah. yeah. And, and some things would just like open up. And here it, it was just, I feel too smooth. I kind of want it like it like collapse in itself and yeah, open back up. Yeah, yeah. I, I want yeah. So, but you know what? Those are just like little nitpicks. Um, and besides, this is a trailer. We haven't seen the whole movie. Once it comes yeah. out, I'm sure we'll talk about it. Um, so thank you to our fan Jesse for asking us that question. Um, happy birthday, by the way. Oh yeah, oh, happy, is, oh, happy happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, it's on the fifth. Let's well, we love you, now. man. Oh, um, Let's and, just call him up right now. Yeah. yeah, and then Indiana Jones. We won't get into spoilers because Albert didn't want to see the trailer. Um, I don't even want you guys to talk about it. it but just... <laughs> the only thing I'll mention, uh, if you want, uh, was that if if you go back and listen to our last episode when we talked about my favorite themes on Albert's uh, soundtrack soundtracks um, show, we he had he had mentioned that if they play a certain version of the Indiana Jones theme, that how he would feel. I'm just letting you know that they they did That's what they did it. Those girls <laughs> and. Uh, but I liked it. Uh, some CGI looks a little wonky, but other than that, that looks... great actors, bad CGI. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it... I saw the CGI and I'm like, you're killing me out. <laughs> yeah, you're killing. Me. But you know what, James Mangold, I think has proven James himself. James Mangold's great. Yeah, and when I heard he was direct, I know you were like, but Spielberg, but Spielberg. I love Spielberg. I like Spielberg. But my wall. Well, yeah, yeah, because he did it, man. Yeah, Spielberg did what? He him he and owned it in. He's out. Yeah. Forget him. Forget him. <laughs> He's done with it. Spielberg hasn't made a good movie hey, hey, since hey, 2005. Hey, that Fableman's movie is out. We should go watch it and see how, the how it went. The Fableman's based oh, on... Oh, the football The film. one based on himself? Yeah. Well, maybe he actually Oh, cared. my God. Here we go. But, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll check that out. Movies. It felt like there was... An, oh, the... Did you see the Guardians trailer? Yeah, Guardians oh, look good. Yeah. They're going to kill Rocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah done. I'm calling it now. Yeah. Um... It's it looks good. The music was on point. Um, I like that they're in their actual guardian costumes, um, uniforms. Uniforms. Um, what else? They they're gonna fight the high evolutionary who who is a character I really From, don't know. Uh, Spider Man. Uh, don't talk about that. Spider Man. Spider Man. Oh God! Rat, I love you, Spider Man. The rat, the rat lady. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> But um, it looks like they're going to count. They're going to counter Earth. So yeah, they're going to that Spider Man planet or whatever. Let's go. Um, <laughs> Spider Man Unlimited. But yeah, adore, people are already dying on the on the hill of Baby Rocket. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is James Gunn's last movie for Marvel before he's already the uh, the one of the co uh, presidents of the new Open DC Studios, which we'll talk about a little later today after our reviews. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, the holiday special came out for yeah. Guardians. It was um, cool. It was better than like Guardians too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, it, it was okay. I, I like Kevin it. Bacon. Kevin Bacon um, it was good, but it just felt like, like he it has was a, a good little... sense of humor, man. He has a good sense of yeah. humor because when they kept talking shit about like actors are pieces of shit that yeah. nobody cares about, it's like holy cow, all right, but um, but yeah, it was that that mm -hmm. holiday special was sweet. Mm -hmm. It was good. Try the try the antihero. Drink it. No, Drink I it. had one yesterday. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got alcoholic. How was your yeah. holiday party? It was great. It was, man. Th like they, uh, we had our holiday party at the old post office where, uh, they the, did the Joker the prologue for Dark Knight. Yeah, and it looks grand in there. Like that first floor, and <laughs> and we also went to the second floor. I'm like, holy cow! I had no idea any of this was here. Um. But it's a beautiful place. Uh, there was a bunch of food, a bunch of drinks, a bunch of people. It, it's intimidating how much goes on, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they it was a great party. Um, but uh, what was next on the? I think that's it for. Do you think the Joker like pulled everyone aside, but during the bank heist, like 
plan. He's like, hey, hey you kill the bus driver. Yeah. <laughs> you you kill the same no, crack. Well, yeah, he did because they <laughs> say they they said that. He's like, we told me to kill the number two guy in the on the roof. Yeah, but so. like imagine like he's telling them a plan. He's like, hey, but come here, let me <laughs> tell you. Hey, don't, don't tell anybody. Yeah, well, right. he, yeah. Must have, he must have. He must have. Yeah, I, I don't plan anything. <laughs> yeah, just, I, I'm just a dog chasing a car. Whatever yeah. doesn't kill you. Simply mm. makes you whoa. still great joke. <laughs> yeah, <Ranger. laughs> it's like it's like Jared Leto looked at that performance and is like, okay, so everything great about it, I'm just gonna do the opposite. Uh, Jared Leto <laughs> just looks at life and does the opposite of what he'll good just is. send like semen filled condoms to his co stars. Oh, okay. and call yeah. them oh, all right, rats. Yeah. Let me park in the handicap section. <laughs> it's what part of my character. Douche. What a douche. Oh, yeah, it's because it was Morbin time? Yeah, it was Morbin time. <laughs> what a douche. Jared Leto, <laughs> you're a douche. He's just acting. That's just all Yeah, he, no, he's that's... not acting. All right. All right. Let's, no. let's you know DC what? DC shakeup? DC, we're going to talk about a little about DC, um, but I think we should probably talk about the movies, <laughs> and that'll bleed <laughs> into the DC shakeups. But we there was two big movies that came out. Um, in October and November, we didn't get to talk about them, but we promised we'd talk about them earlier this year. Um, we saw Black Adam and Black Panther. Do you guys just want to do Black Adam first and then do Black Panther? Does it matter? Well, I kind of did them both with Rafa. You'll have that episode, too, so you guys could talk more oh, about you, that. Oh, yeah. You said you had reporters. Yeah. Okay. Well, Black Adam... We made a side sequel to this episode already. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. So that's going to be one of our, our Part special, of the multiverse. Yeah. But, Albert, you, you told me... That you enjoyed Black Adam. And is there that is true. Okay, that's it. All and right. that's the end of our episode. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, thanks for joining us. I. No, but yeah, Black Adam. No, I. You saw it in theaters. Yeah, so. You know, I was like, ah, oh, The Rock, I don't care. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I want to see the other characters. I like them. Um, and. Which we had talked about in our previous yeah, episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had mentioned all that before, and now finally seeing it, I was, I was excited because I don't go to the movies too much. Um, and I had a great time. Um, and yeah, I can put it, I can say it, the movie is kind of lame. It's not the best. It doesn't do anything new. Um, you know, it, it's an average movie. Um, but I had a great time. And I think that's kind of what I just wanted at that point is, Look, I don't need something to to blow my mind, but if it's at least entertaining, then cool. Then your I, money's but, well spent. Yeah, but but I mean, I I just find it weird because sometimes I'm the most critical person mm. of things, but but for that movie, I was just like, yeah, this is fun. I don't this I don't care that this doesn't make sense. I don't care <laughs> that this is like in the very beginning. I was telling you, uh, for some reason, they they drive up a hill. And they're like, oh, the long lost this of this that's been missing for millions of years. And I just found it by by driving. Because I'm a professor. Yeah. Like, what the heck? Like, for real? Like, it's been floating here this whole time. But but you know what? I don't care. And they had fun. It looked I had fun. Um, What were some standouts that you enjoyed specifically? I mean, I I think, yeah, just the team, the JSA or just. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Um, They were they were cool. I liked Hawkman a lot. And. Me I'm you. glad that they yeah. didn't treat him like trash. They, I think The Rock or whatever could have easily told the writers and whatever, like, look, I need to be the most powerful guy and I'm going to toy with him. But it wasn't like that. It was more like, yeah, he, he Black, uh, Black, Black Adam could totally beat him. Yeah. But it wasn't just like, oh, like he's a baby compared to me. No, that they did have some good fights. Um, and you know, I can see them going in another battle and stuff. So it was done tastefully. Um, I wish there was more Dr. Strange, Dr. Strange, Dr. Fate, Fate. Multiverse Um, of Madness. Yeah. Uh, I wish there was more Dr. Fate. Uh, I feel like, you know, a lot of people were saying, oh, his powers look cool. I feel like they all kind of look the same. Um, so I wish they did more visually interesting things with him. Um, and the whirlwind lady, um, cyclone. Yeah, hers I think was definitely the weakest. Uh, she did a little tornado, and I think she She's made so things adorable. worse. But but <laughs> but I I I like her. Her character was cool, uh, and and that's the thing about that movie is that 
I liked everybody except the little brat kid and and I, on another little level, yeah. his mom. That's if they get a sequel. Um, mm. but we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, but but yeah, I, I enjoyed it all. Yeah. What? Sorry, not sorry. Oh, he he's never seen Legends. Yeah. Uh, oh. The the girl, the his mom, the mom, the one that. Oh, like, she comes out in. It? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's their version of of Zari from Legends because she comes out. It's the same character. Oh. But um, but yeah. When do you want do you want to talk about? Oh, uh, Black Panther? No, the the ending too. Oh, Black Adam. did you? How did you feel about? So that? when, yeah, Superman comes out and and wait, that, Superman comes yeah, out. That's the thing. Like, it, where's it was secret? Yeah, yeah, it was not a secret, and it's kind of like, you know. But I I did hold myself. Uh, I didn't see anything on the internet. I just knew that he came out, but I didn't know how. I didn't mm-hmm. know whatever. But when he came out, and they play a little John Williams yeah. in there, right? And. The suit looked great. I don't know if it was enhanced with CGI. I don't know. I think they just it was color correct. Did like yeah. they didn't. Have, Zack Snyder wasn't there to like take the color. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean that's probably one of the best sentences. They put high yeah. Zack Snyder wasn't there. Oh, yeah. perfect. See, we, I, I wish those so bullet hard. sounds come out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I clapped, mm. I, and I I think someone had started to clap and then stopped. But no, I was like, I'm. I'm clapping now, and then that person was like, yeah, and they started clapping too, but um, I'm, you know, that was a great moment. I feel like Henry Cavill and Brandon Routh got screwed over, mm. um, and, you know, to take away that chance of a lifetime to be Superman, it, it's it's got to be heartbreaking, yeah. and then, but they were like, you know what, we want you to come out, and The Rock that he made that happen i'm i'm grateful um but i mean i don't know depending on how things go right now i don't know yeah, if he we'll is gonna stay a bit, superman yeah. but but yeah i what would you give it then a b b plus a whatever uh, or you i know you don't like giving yeah games. i don't know i see it or not look, see it, I, i'm gonna say this that as soon as it hits 10 bucks i'm buying that you know, I, I ah, do you have no, buy it at a buy. mediocre price. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have HBO Max. And it's gonna be an HBO Max. Next no, Friday. I wanna own okay. it. All right. Yeah, I wanna own it. I wanna see the behind the scenes. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind seeing it again. Yeah. Like I said, I had fun. Right. I think it's a fun movie. Um mm-hmm. yeah, it's not mind blowing. It doesn't do anything to push anything forward. The hierarchy of power did not change. Oh my god. But 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 did he establish that he was the most <laughs> powerful and unstoppable being yeah. on this planet? I know you this can't stop planet. Me. <laughs> Only you could stop yourself. Yeah. 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 So whatever. Yeah. Uh, I, I like it. All right. I, I want to see it again. I kind of liked it. Um, you know what? So I didn't see it in theaters like you. Me and Alex we actually saw it. Um, oh, I saw it in theaters. Oh, you saw it in theaters? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Well, that was the last one to watch. Me and. Our, our dad watched it with Alex uh, on on Voodoo. You bought it. Becca Becca bought it, oh. and we have the shared Voodoo. Thing, I was so. gonna buy it. So mm. so we watched it, and I was all in for it. I the the prologue to the movie cut that out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut the drive up to the mountain. Out. You can have them be in the mountain, and she can be like, you know, I spent years looking for this thing. Blah blah blah. This is our only chance to save. Blah blah blah. Yeah, we. Yeah, and then. When the action started and he started like when they woke him up, loved I loved it. I loved how he was just going. He was like he was basically doing everything Superman would not normally do. No, what do you okay? Well, okay, normally <laughs> okay. do. Normally do. You mean everything Zack Snyder Superman would yes. do? Yes. Well, he isn't. You won't let me die. Yeah. <laughs> you won't let me live. We don't even know if that's canon. Tell man. me something. Yeah. Don't get your boy. <laughs> what? Definitely something broken. Man. That's like stupid Batman it says that when Superman flies away. You yeah. and Superman's probably he like, can dude, hear I'm you. Five He's miles like, out. Like, what an idiot. <laughs> <Rolling his eyes. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does he really want me to go back and yeah. mess up his Laser Batmobile vision? again? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I didn't say anything. Yeah. I didn't say anything. It wasn't me. It was Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> and then Andy Circus is like. <laughs> Are you gonna blow me up again for no reason? That was Andy Sir. Oh, because that's that Alfred. Yeah, Andy, Jeremy yeah. Irons. Yeah, no, Jeremy Irons doesn't get blown up. Jeremy no. Irons can take it. Now, Jeremy Irons but Andy ass. Circus just gets blown up no, for but, no reason. <laughs> but when he started killing all those bad soldiers, I was like, this is awesome. This isn't, I'm having fun. I don't care that he's killing these people because that character fits 
that type of violence. Like he he does do that. Like the first time I read Black Adam was in Infinite Crisis, and he like kills the psycho pirate. And I know you guys are like, what the hell are you talking about, psycho pirate? Um, he, this he's fighting this villain, and all he does is he 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 does the he put his his index finger, his middle finger, and he just pops the psycho pirate's eyes and out of the back of his head, and it's like that's Black Adam. So it's it's fine. Um, the performance of The Rock, he was subdued, but he was still The Rock. Um, but not so much as like, do you smell what the like? It's not any of that, you know. He was the most electrifying, <laughs> <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. Um, but I think I got so overwhelmed by that action that I was like, wow, all right. Because it was action every two seconds. It was like I know you. Yeah, you didn't like it as much. I know, and I was like, I was like, all oh, right. Didn't like it. I was into it in the beginning, and then I was like, "Yeah, this is awesome." And then, but like, they start playing, you know, painted black for no reason. Yeah, Doesn't fit the, the character. That was the worst part. And I think I had seen the Wednesday TV show with Jenna Ortega on Netflix, and they played that song. So I was like, "Ah, oh, again." And I like that song, but and I have the bias of playing that song a lot of times or whatever. But it's like it's been overused, and I don't. I felt like that was a time where you could have used the score. To like emphasize that he is this ancient, powerful being, but yeah, it was like every five seconds there was an action scene. It's like, dude, like breathe, chill out. There was a, a few yeah. things that I I was the things that I liked about them that I didn't think they delved too much into, which would have been nice that they did. Uh, was yes, that's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> was when they talk when the JSA comes, they just take it upon themselves because Amanda Waller has them on speed dial, and I guess Justice League. Since they don't know what to do with them, <laughs> we're like because they can't fight yeah. uh, Ezra Miller since he's oh. too busy building cults. Ooh, he's turning into a spider god. <laughs> <laughs> and we brought the Ezra Miller thing back. Screw Ezra Miller. <laughs> Let's flashpoint him out of here. Yeah. Oh well, we'll see what happens. But um, he's. I'm telling you, he's going super meta and becoming the Wally West serial killer. <laughs> My God, that's messed up. But um, but yeah, like. The, the JSA takes it upon themselves to go over there to conduct where he is. And all of a sudden, it's like, we're here to stop him because he's killing people. And it's and the Zari uh, lady, the, the the professor lady who's like a, the leader of the rebellion or whatever. She's like, he, like, where were you guys when Intergang, which is the name of the group that has taken over the city for the last years, couple of years, and they get dropped in the middle of the story. They Like, that's a, an afterthought later. Yeah, that's. And, okay. and, but they're like, where were you when they occupied our city? Like you weren't there to, you obviously were already around. You guys did not take care of us. It isn't until this guy showed up that you're like, oh, you know, they have basically, um, a, a weapon of mass destruction. Now we have to get involved because it suits their interests. And I was like, okay, that's an interesting thing. Let's, let's, let's keep poking at that. I like that idea. Like the Americans didn't want to help. Because you know? they're waiting for Dark Side yeah. to come out. Yeah, that's the only time they come out. Um, so I thought that was interesting, and they, they don't really talk about it. The kid, I didn't find that annoying just because he reminded me of Freddie Freeman and Shazam, except when he was skateboarding down the stairs where it was like, dude, what the hell's with the skateboard? Yeah, I There's not even see, room. I yeah, I see your face going like, he wasn't annoying. I didn't think yeah. he was that annoying until he, yeah, until he was, let me skateboard around. I'm being sneaky. No, you're not, idiot. <laughs> yeah. You're not. And you're that, skateboarding. And the way he talks to the soldiers, like nothing, like, like you're a kid. I don't care how long they've been there. Like if a guy puts an AK-47 to my face... I'm going to probably piss myself a little bit. Like, I'm not I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, oh, you guys are colonizers that took over. I'm like, okay, cool that you say that. But, like, a kid would not act. I don't think a kid would act like that. But that was the whole point of the movie. I guess so. But that's another thing. They don't, they, they just, they say words and it loses kind of its meaning. Um, and then, other than that, I mean, action was, there were some action scenes that were great. But a lot of it felt like I've seen this before. But again, I thought The Rock was pretty good. I liked that he had a subdued performance. I liked the JSA for most part. I felt like they could have done more with them. They deserve their own movie or their own HBO Max maxi series or something. Um, Pierce Brosnan, like classy MF um, Hawkman. I feel like he got batted a lot of the times. But the thing that made him endearing was that he kept getting back up. Like here, there's no way he was going to beat um like, black adam because they did make they did i feel like when you talk about how the rock could have easily said i want to be the most like he i think he yeah, did tell like them that. but the fact that he kept getting back up 
and he wouldn't, you know, stand down. And I like, still think Hawkman could whoop his ass. I, I think they could have dealt, and this is the comic book nerd in me, is like, his mace is supposed to be made of this, like... Like the nth metal. It's nth metal, which yeah, is like this... That's what I'm saying. Right, vibranium from a different galaxy or whatever. So it disrupts magic. Who's magic? Uh, Black Adam. And so I thought that that would have, like, been kind of like his kryptonite. Um, because you're right, like, if he doesn't get hurt, it kind of makes me, like... This movie should be 30 minutes long. But um, the bad guy was underdeveloped. Too much CGI for that. Jafar? Jafar. Yeah, poor... <laughs> that, I don't know if it's him... Or it's just the roles he gets. Because Jafar sucked in Aladdin. Oh, that was the guy. That yeah. was him, yeah. And obviously. then this, and this then he character... he turns into a genie Jafar. Yeah, he turns yeah, into yeah. genie Jafar, what we wanted in the first Aladdin. Um, and, but, but I, like, I liked Hawkman. I liked uh, uh, Adam Smasher. I thought he was cool. But I think it was mostly he looked cool. I just wish they gave them more stuff to do. The one that had the short end of the stick were probably the women Cyclone. in the movie. Cyclone especially. They didn't give her much to do. She was cool though. She yeah, I mean, she looked great. She her the acting was good. It's just that I felt yeah, they didn't give her much to do. And the thing about Justice Society that makes them different, I think, from Justice League, is their legacy characters. All the characters, like Adam Smasher, he's not the first, and and they make a point of saying that in the in the movie. Oh yeah, that's he's awesome. like the he's like the Henry Winkler plays his grandfather. Or Cover his Winkler, or yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, so it's like, that's what I love about the Justice Society is old, the old heroes training the new heroes. So I wish that was something there. Um, but I do like that The Rock loves the Justice Society. Whether, you know, they say that he he brought Superman back. And you know what? I love Henry Cavill. I think he's got a raw deal. But things right. Brandon Roth also got a raw deal. Um and I still want to see Henry Cavill because I see he can be charming. The Eradicator. Yeah, he's basically the Eradicator in Man of Steel. But like he, he can, fights yeah. Octopuses. He... And what in um, Malaysia? Or Octopuses? Something. What? <laughs> Malaysia? <laughs> yeah, he oh. fights a giant oh that squid. robot. Yeah. Um, in Malaysia yeah. or so, Abu Dhabi or something. So I, I I was happy when I saw him. I was happy. Um, the costume looked great when it's colorful. They gave him the spit curl. They gave him the John Williams theme, which is great. It's classic. I do love the, and this is now the, the beer's kind of hitting me, um, Hans Zimmer's score for Man of Steel. Oh, yeah. And and so they're both equally great. They're two. They're on different ends of the spectrums. Yeah. Well, John uh, Williams, uh, John nah, Williams I, I think John Williams is the master. But Hans Zimmer is no slouch in that. No, no, Hans Zimmer is all. So, so I was happy. But... Where this is gonna go, we're not sure. But um, that was. But I think that's it. Did you want to add anything real quick, Alex? Because well, I know I, you yeah, have an we episode. Have well. an episode. I, I will say, because you Hawk, were more critical, I think, before the movie came out. Yeah. So I mean, I I talked about this in the other one. Like I I thought the Rock was gonna be the Rock in here, and I actually liked that he wasn't as rocky in here. Yeah, that he is. Um, I I agree. I wanted him to get hurt a little bit more, but you like talking about the nth metal. Rafa brought up a really good point where, um, when Hawkman comes out to fight. Sojek or whatever that stupid genie Jafar guy is. Genie Jafar. Um, he gets the mace and he goes, yeah. and he turns it into the axe, and then he like stabs him or like yeah. he cuts him in half. I was like, why didn't you do that before? Why didn't you keep changing the mace and tell other things? Yeah. And Rafa was like, he's not trying to kill Black Adam. He knows yeah. he needs to kill this guy, yeah. uh, but he's just trying to whoop on Black Adam a little bit. So maybe he could beat the shit out of Black Adam, but he's like. Uh, let me call him because I'm not yeah. trying to kill anybody. And that's his whole point. He's like, I'm not trying to kill. Yeah. You can't kill anybody. There He's saving as many people as he can. But he knows that this guy makes it to the throne. It's yeah. over. And I, yeah. Again, that's Hawkman cool, yeah. is, well, probably... is awesome. Hawkman is so cool. In here. He's... He's such a good character. Um, I, an actor. I love him. Yeah, yeah he, he he portrays Aldis, him really well. Aldis Hodge, I believe his name. Yeah, he's, when, he's good. When he's told he's going to die, he's not worried about it. He just like, should have told me sooner, P.S. Yeah. Brosnan. Yeah. And then I, I, I mentioned this to Rafa, and I think it's one of the best scenes in the movie where Pierce Brosnan makes that like shield, that X shield mm. or whatever around, and then Hawkman just loses it. He's like, no! You can't do it. I'm yeah. the one that dies. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that scene. Like, that makes me... And he tells Adam Smasher and Cyclone, like, go find a way in there. Like, yeah. 
He wants it. Oh, see, they're making he my writer's brain want to wanna work because now I'm like, the whole thing about Hawkman is he gets reincarnated. And that's like one of his yeah, things. Yeah. And you, and they didn't delve into that. They didn't go into any of and that. And they could have had a scene or something where he's getting mad because he knows that Pierce Brosnan or Dr. Fate's going to kill him. So, by the way, Pierce Brosnan is Dr. Fate. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, one yeah. More. The best one was when he did the, the... You said you didn't like the, the powers that much or whatever, but the best power that he uses in that one where Hawkman's getting beat and he's like, Fate! Give me a distraction. And you just see Fate fly up in the air and he starts moving his hands around yeah. and he turns the whole conduct into old conduct. Yeah. That's one of the coolest visuals. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's great. No, yeah. But see, you're making my writer's brain work because the whole thing could have been, you could have talked about his reincarnation thing because I thought they were going to bring that up. I thought they were too. Especially because Hawkman was around during the, the time of Black Adam. Black Adam, yeah. And I would have liked it if maybe, because the whole thing is... And that is spoiler. The one of the, the one of the Justice Society is gonna die. So it's Hawkman. They think he's gonna die. So Doctor Fate puts himself in his place. And when he's like, "Oh, I'm the one that dies," he could have been. He's like, "Look, it's for you. Like dying is easy. What's hard is for you to live." Mm. Why didn't they do that? No, I, All right. I'm gonna disagree. I like no. that they didn't bring up that he. He ah. gets reincarnated because that, I think that's too much information. Why well, don't they get into deep it, into it? But like, it, it's also they need to fire the writers. I did not like the writing in this movie. Yeah, See, I, uh, I'm, well, I just because we're coming up. Oh no, this is a big about, extra. But, this is our welcome back, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. But, me and you, me and yeah, you, yeah, yeah. me and um, you. Yes, sir. <laughs> you guys, it, it seems like you guys thought of it more critically. Yeah, and I remember I told Katrina, I. I did not. I didn't look at it like that. I, you I were, was looking you're at it more of a just, roller coaster. Right? Yeah, and I don't know why, because usually that's where I go. Is oh I, yeah, I was gonna talk about that because yeah, you liked it a lot, and I was I'm, I think <clears throat> one of the reasons of that is I don't think we've had a really good superhero movie or any fun superhero movies. Like we've had some Marvel ones, but what were they? Multiverse of Madness, or oh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Yeah. A couple planets, and then we've had. The just mo- shows. I don't know what other movies we've had, but we haven't had anything the, that was the, like cool. And then on top of that, we haven't had any DC movie that's been fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, besides what's the, Shazam what's and maybe the, Aquaman. What's the last DC movie that came out before the Batman? I think. Yeah, you oh, see this. what I mean. And yeah. that's like a it's, dark crime movie. So it, we haven't had a fun superhero movie. And the way I meant, I I talk about this movie. Um, like I said, it's. I think I've said it to you guys. I said it's Ralph. It's the Iron Giant. Black Adam's playing the part of the mm-hmm. Iron Giant, and Osiris is playing the part of Hogarth Hughes. And that's what it is. Hog who? Hugh Hug. Yeah. yeah. Who heart? Might um, as well call him Zeppo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? Yeah. Hey, champ. I'm going out. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, that, yeah, but I think that's it. That's it for Black Adam. Um, let's hop on. Let's take a trip to Wakanda. And right after this break. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, we'll be back. <laughs> what time is this? And going? we're back. Um, we are back. Yeah. As you know what? I forgot to tell you that Stu, our attorney Stu, was like, you didn't tell me you had a podcast? I'm like, yeah, it's just me and my brothers fighting. So, you know, <laughs> shout out to Stu for acknowledging our podcast. And fighting. I'm sure he's listening to every single episode. So thank you, Stu. <laughs> Um, no problem. Man. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Pena. Yeah, love that guy. Um, I think we'll probably this is probably the last one. Uh, Black Panther, Black Panther came out. Um, I think I'm trying to remember in our most anticipated movies episode at the beginning of the year it was or I forget it was if it was last year, but I said Black Panther was more my most anticipated. I think of the Marvel movies, and it was good. It was good. I I think that's it. So, no. <laughs> I'll the episode. Mean, you know, well, like, thanks for listening. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? I think I enjoyed Black Adam more. Um, Black Panther was... I mean, it was cool, but... See, this movie, I feel, was more like... A, not a superhero movie, and it was more like dealing with the repercussions of, uh, of T'Challa dying. Mm. And I did enjoy it for that. But then how it kind of turns into a superhero movie at right at the end is just like, mm. uh, you know. So I think this movie was weaker for that. Um, but, I, like, I still enjoyed it. Well, what did you uh, like about it? That, I think, that they dealt with the repercussions. Like, 
But I feel like this could have been its own thing. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how you would tackle it because uh, Chadwick Boseman, like his death was... Rest in peace, King. Yeah, like it, it was a... Power. Yeah. It was a very powerful thing. You Why know, like, both? Like, you know, it, it affected everybody. And it affected, like, look, there, the machine that is Marvel got put on hold because of... Like, on a slight hold because he, he died. Um... You know, I they didn't recast him, which I think is the right thing. Um, uh, yeah. And so it was I hard. Agree like, with that, but okay, okay, but yeah. So I like that they dealt like okay, yeah, we don't have a king who's gonna be the new Black Panther and stuff. I almost wish that that was the whole movie was them kind of uh, just. It was a more internal thing. You didn't need to have Namor. You didn't have need to have. What Any you other? What you call? <laughs> no more. Uh, Again, you know what, Alex? And if you if you, <laughs> if you remember our Comic Con episode, Alex called it. He called it that his name was gonna be Namor. It was when we were like, he's <laughs> he's Amor or what? Yeah. And he called him other flowers. Um. So so yeah, I almost wish it was just that, and it okay. was an internal thing with just the people of Wakanda and being okay. like, okay, well then, who's got to be this? Who's got to be that? The people are doing this or uprising because of that or i i don't know but but they already kind of had a civil war in the first one i feel like yeah but, with killmonger and then yeah the people like turning against the chala and family but that's why i'm saying like it it was just a hard place that they were in yeah. um i liked namor uh namor namor yeah el, el submarine el submarino <laughs> yeah yeah but, <laughs> but like yeah i just felt like it didn't hit the mark mm. um but it hit the mark in in all its tributes to to chadwick boseman mm. that i think was, was the best part of that it. his presence was felt. yeah yeah okay. um but as a as a Marvel movie and as a closer for Phase Four, four like you could tell me that this was the the middle of something, and you know I would wouldn't know the difference. Like so, yeah, that's my take on it. Um, Alex, did you want to? I know you, you're gonna talk about it. Yeah, we, we talked about it in the Rafa <laughs> podcast, but I mean, you saying that I think is very interesting. I didn't really even think about it that way, um, but I think that would have been a great movie if it was just about the passing of Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. Because um, this was the passing of Chadwick Boseman, uh, a new Black Panther, while dealing with Namor, and I think, like, you probably could... What you call him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? We probably, we probably could have done it a lot more, like... Because I personally don't think the, like... I felt as much as, like, man, Chadwick Boseman passed away. Like, I think they could have done more with it. Like, mm -hmm. I think we could have dealt with that a lot more. Um, I will say, like, I, I said this in Rafa's podcast, but uh, I don't think, like, with... You really feel the loss of Chadwick Boseman because there's no one else in this movie that I'm like, let's go! Let's yeah. get it! Yeah, Chadwick yeah. Boseman just amps you up and he's just so powerful and everything you know he doesn't even have to be like a king he's an awesome like just friend like him going back and forth with the he has, a, he has a charm that yeah. you can't deny that he's just he seems like the like the cool cat you just want to hang out with he, yeah he's not just the king he's not just your king he's your best friend and that's your what's brother, awesome. your best friend. Yeah. The, and we don't have a character in here, especially because she's an anti vaxxer Okay. But we don't know oh, about yeah. that. <laughs> All right. You know what? But the, you know, like, I'm just like, who cares? Oh, Shorty. Ooh, Shorty's gonna be the Black Panther. Like, you should have given it to Oye. You know, like. Yeah. That was um, my pick. That was my pick. And you know, it's, well, just real quick, yeah. especially when they strip her of being the, the leader the, of the. the yeah, oh, the guard, the royal guard or whatever. Yeah. I, I'm like, oh, that's the perfect segue into, like, since you're no longer have duties like that, then you're the new Black Panther. But, yeah. But... And then they give her a terrible oh, costume, God. the Midnight Warrior. See, that's what I'm saying. And, and I think Mandine had said it, too. It was bloated. To me, it was bloated. Like, let's introduce these Midnight Warrior costumes. Let's do Ironheart. Let's do uh, Namor. Let's do the new Black Panther. Like, Jesus. Uh, to me, it felt like 
a lot and no, nothing had room to breathe. Like you were talking about room to breathe earlier uh, in Black Adam. Like in here, I just felt like it was quick, 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 quick. And yeah. hey, by the way, I built my own fucking Iron... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I built my own Iron Man uh, My freaking ears. Thing. Like, and, and it's just... Like, really? Like, already? There's no introduction to her, like, hey, yeah, I've been working on the this prototype, or... No, it's just right away, oh, I'm Iron Man. Yeah, you just I, put I, the pictures on the wall, and you're like, she likes Iron Man, I guess? Yeah, like, okay, but go ahead. Rafa and Christian were both talking, like, smack about Ironheart. I don't think she was annoying. I think she was fine. I, I loved, loved her. her. I, I loved her. I liked her, too. I think she's cool. She's, um, I think, she, for a teenager, she could have easily... Maybe, like, how everybody hated that kid in uh, Black Adam... I loved her. I thought her attitude was on point. Like, I don't know much about the character. She's new. She's probably within the last five years. But I liked her. She was a teenager. She was smart. Another freaking genius in the Marvel universe. Yeah, you throw a rock and hit it. Yeah, you, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which we're not at, you know, advising you to hit anybody. <laughs> I mean, if you want. Is, but, um, they won't knock their IQ down. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah, but you're right. It's like, they didn't explain much about... They was a MacGuffin. Could, they could have saved Ironheart for the next Black Panther movie. And I think you the perfect way you could have segued Ironheart in here is if you if they made another Spider-Man movie, I mean they're Mary Jane, apparently that's Mary Jane, and Ned yeah. Hobgoblin or whatever. They're going to MIT. Yeah. They're there. Introduce her in a Spider-Man movie. And then bring her out later. If you want to make a show, bring her out later and have they like are making a show. Pepper Potts is like, you know what? These were the people that Tony Stark was keeping an eye on, yeah. and she's one of them. See, and that would and have her maybe she was like Pepper Potts and like Iron Man's assistant at some point or something. Like he picked her. He's like, yeah, she's gonna be great. So that's how you introduce yeah. the Iron Man like legacy. legacy into her. But yeah, it's her. It's all this. I you could have just not had her in. Her. Not that I minded her. I think she was good. Uh, and I'm the first one to call people out when they're, they're garbage and added on, but. You know, <laughs> she's good. Namor, I think Namor would be awesome to be in this movie if it's just a tragedy film. Like, you know, it's us dealing with the loss of Chadwick Boseman, and we're just trying to find a king. You know, we're trying to find the next ruler. And not only are we doing that, but apparently this guy's messing with us. Mm. And, like, I don't need, like, a whole Civil War war fought, but, like, Namor coming to you, it should have been more, like, Namor respected Chadwick Boseman and he's like yo oh, Black Panther T'Challa you respected him he's like your son did great but now you need a king I'll be your king uh, I'll take this over I'll help both of our families rise up but you know it just turned into like I'm a bad guy and I'm gonna do this and I'm a I'm good guy bad man. guy no but like they, it was about them trying to find a new person to success. I think they were doing the same thing well I mean all right, and I just think it's it's two movies built into one. Like I, I you've seen Hereditary, right? Yeah. In Hereditary, uh, the way I, I always say it is, it's a perfect family tragedy movie. Yeah. And if you leave it as that, it's perfect. Yeah. But then they add, they tack on, and I it's know everyone says they don't tack on the supernatural. Like it was always there if you looked at it. But I feel like they tack it on at the end. It feels like two movies in one. You either make it a tragedy film or you make it a supernatural film. But because it's like half and half, well, it doesn't do both. I it mean, doesn't hit all the marks. Evil Dead is both a comedy and a horror. Like there's stuff where it can be both. It can be both, but I think it'd be a more powerful film. It'd be a stronger film. But the thing you is, you you're okay. Way, but that's a, the other. Way. There's that's the thing. It's like we had watched The Woman King, which I I liked. I really enjoyed that movie. Um, With the homie, the the uh, the homies, yeah. I, I couldn't. Ah, uh, anyway, we won't get into that. But and even with like the real life issues that happened, you know, um, I really like that. That's what I wanted. I guess the first Black Panther to feel like because it was so techno technology based. Where I was like, I kind of see it more Wakanda based in reality. But um, now I forget what I was talking about because the beer is hitting me. Um, <laughs> oh, but that's the thing. You guys are talking about like a film. Mm -hmm. I'm still drinking mine. Um, you guys are talking about a film. And you know what? There, I'm sure there's a film that would be powerful like that, where it would be the internal struggle of, you know, who succeeds Black Panther and who's the king of Wakanda. There is a film there, but it's a Marvel movie at the end of the day. And because it's a Marvel movie, you need the fighting. You need the action. You need the superhero. No, you but the, don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Yes, you do. You totally you can, do. You, you have you, to you hit the parameters. Whatever. 
you can do whatever. It's You're a comic. Marvel. Yeah, I, mean, I, I agree. The, the I fact that, that they're Marvel and they're coming out with all these nonsense shows yes. on Disney Plus. That's why. That's they, why. They, they, they still have action. They still have werewolf the by heroics. night. Like I haven't seen it, but it's just a one-off whatever special uh, like, presentation. She Hulk as, as as much as I enjoyed it, it's kind of whatever. It's like, Ali McBeal with yeah, powers. That, we are I mean, talking uh, about that on our, when we talk but, about okay, Phase well, 4 later. But, but. but look, WandaVision is such a non-thing until the last... It doesn't turn into a Marvel film until, until the, the last, last episode. two episodes. Yeah. Yeah. But and, it's a whatever. It's like, it's really... It's well written well, and it's cool. They could have done... It's Ryan Coogler. L- when has he failed you? Ryan Coogler's the... Like, he's the man. He's the G. Yeah. Like, he got it. You know, he doesn't know how to make a bad movie. This isn't a bad movie. He doesn't know how to make bad movies. It's not a the fantastic movie, but he doesn't make bad movies. Yeah. So just let the man do what he wants to do. And if you want to make a tragedy film, I'm sure if he wanted to make that film, like, who will be the successor? If Marvel didn't let him do it, then that's Marvel's fault. But if he didn't want to do it, then it's his fault. I don't know. But it would have been a strong movie. As just finding the success of, st- of Wakanda. I, you're right. Again, that would be and a good film. And the fight also sucks in this one. Yeah. All the fights suck. F- the this. film. No. I don't. I disagree oh, with that. Oh, well, the, the one on the bridge. Okay. But the meaningful fight between Namor and Black Panther. Now, more way. Black Panthers. Panthers. Fresh. Okay. Well, <laughs> we can hear <laughs> more of Alex. I'd rather see the fight with her fighting Baxters. Okay, we don't. <laughs> Jesus. No, no, he's okay. already come out. Yeah, stop. Like, stop. Where's the they come from? A... Yeah. yeah. Blitz! Don't our night don't, again! Don't, Go with night forever! <laughs> don't make her the new Ezra. Uh, the fact that no, Ryan Coogler and she even came out and saying that. I forgive her, but I'm still going to poke right. fun at the Panther. Okay. <laughs> Look, <laughs> don't poke the Panther, okay? Uh, the I'm, Panther bites. I'm going to say this. You were talking about it a little bit. I don't like her as the new Black Panther. I don't either. And and I don't know if that's because Chadwick Boseman, how you were saying that he's such a great presence that I don't care about. You feel like she else, really. she's suited in her supporting yeah. role. Like if it was like Jimmy becoming Superman. Or yeah, like, like I how do you feel when Falcon took over, like being Captain America? Oh, I, like I haven't seen that show, so but but, but oh, but no, yeah, like when when he passed the torch to him, I felt it was earned. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah he yeah. definitely earned that. But with Shuri, Shuri, she's uh, like the scientist. Yeah, she's the scientist. All of a sudden, you kind of know how to fight. I mean, I I don't well, know. I'm sure they tr- they train her, but yeah, yeah but no, um, All but right. but even then, it's like I I don't. See her as a badass. That if a toy is badass, no, no she, she has but, to be something though. She but, doesn't have that leadership yeah. quality. She's she's cool being the woman in the chair. Ned is the guy in the chair, and she yeah. she's cool with being like she's cool telling you like, hey, you're messing this up because of this and that. All right, go fix it. Let's go. She's cool being that person. She can talk down to whoever the Black Panther is. Yeah. But she hasn't earned the right of the Black Panther. She, it feels also. I, I don't think, think Christian said it. I think mm. Christian said it's like nepotism. Like, oh, that's the daughter. Um, or that's a sister. So it has she to be. Has like, to be the Black Panther. It's in the bloodline. But it's like, who earned it though? You, and I think Okoye earned it. Yeah, I it, think so. I was just gonna say, like, you know what? It's kind of similar to like in the Flash show when. Uh, the girl and uh we are the flesh what's his name i don't know what girl. the the iris his, or... the, no the two people that were always in the uh um, caitlin yeah caitlin oh, and killer frost. frost killer frost and, and, Cisco. and Bi- yeah. Bye, Bi- when they were just they were the guys in the chair yeah and then later on they start developing powers of their own or something i i feel like this is that like it's not earned and they're just like well let's give everyone powers yeah Everyone is a super being, and with her, it was just like, yeah, just kind of just give it to her. Yeah, I uh, I feel like again we're saying Okoye, right? And yeah. I feel like Shuri giving Danny Okoye Guida. the permission to be Black Panther is also would also be just like a powerful scene. Like you're the only one who could be what my brother the protector, was. the yeah. protector. Man. I like, like I, she can be the leader, but I think that would yeah that scene I would have been like. But I think at that point, the way the movie ends, 
Like I I enjoyed the movie. Like I give it a uh, a solid B B plus. I think out of the Phase Four movies, it's up there. Um, and I don't even know what else is in there. Well, we'll talk about that in our because I want to do the Phase Four thing, but but I think you guys basically. All right, let's. What did you? So you didn't like it as much. You thought it was bloated, but I enjoyed it. Okay, I enjoyed it. I don't think. It's that strong of a movie. Um, it's not something that I would like recommend watching. Wow. Um, I mean, really thinking about it, it, would you be like, "Oh, dude, you have to check this out"? I, I I'd say you so. watch it when it's on yeah. Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah. Like catch it when you have a chance, since you have a subscription. But like, really, you're gonna be like, "Dude, this movie." The fact that you picked like, that over Black Adam, I'm like, wow. Right. But, but I think like Black Adam compared to Black Panther. Well, I mean, I haven't even talked about what I think about it, but but we'll talk about it. Alex because I'm sure you're going to talk about it on your podcast. Or I mean, I already talked about it. Yeah, okay. Well, I yeah. <laughs> well, then everyone does great in the movie. Yeah. It's a it's a fine flick. It's really long. Everyone does a great job. Yeah. And spoiler, and we spoiled the shit. That's fine. That's, but uh, we're not. Going I can be to Jordan's know. boss. Yeah. But, yeah. Where was it that? Hey, Stream! <laughs> Where Wallace at? I, I was gonna, I was gonna yell that, or I was gonna say that in the theater when he came out. I'm like, oh. yeah, but I, man, where's Wallace? I'm right here. <laughs> the, I, the, I think Michael B. Jordan, he's in there for what five minutes. He yeah. think he kills himself, cousin. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome, I almost bro. wish that they resurrected him <laughs> somehow, and he was like, I don't know. No. Man, they should just no, re- resurrect no. him as a, as a. I don't mind him being. Yeah. I be like, what's up, cousin? What's yeah. up, cousin? I don't. I don't. If they, if I, I think they shouldn't have killed him off. But, and I do like the idea of there being some sort of connection between the two, because at, again, with Chad, with Bozeman, he, in, in uh, Civil War, he's angry because they kill his father. And so there's that anger, which you see in Shuri because she hates the world because she lost her brother. And which I don't think is earned either. I don't, I don't, I'm gonna make the world burn for what? Yeah, yeah, that was weird. It's it was your strange. fault, like, kind of. I mean, you, yeah, I mean, where's all this anger coming from? Like, yeah, a loved one dies, but I'm not like, fuck, don't, don't tell me yeah. how I want to do anything because yeah. I'm gonna burn the world. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. Well, there's certain things. I mean, I understand her anger, but yeah, I don't understand that she'd be like, I burned the world. I'm like, all right, the world had nothing to do with. Your brother. Yeah, you you're know. already separated from the world yeah. because you. Don't, if anything, be mad at Wakanda. Yeah, because you're all, always separated from the world. Like, I wouldn't yeah. even mind if she was mad at him for not like telling her because she she mentions in the movie where she's like, by the time he told her, it was already too late to help him. And yeah, but I mean, the movie. This was my most anticipated. I I liked it. I will. Completely agree. It was way too long. We didn't even talk about Everett Ross or what or Jim from the we British office. Guy, yeah. But that's the thing. That thing, all that, all that section is maybe what twenty minutes in the movie. Take that out. It was not important. Take out Iron. You can take out Ironheart and you, still have. And Ironheart, yeah, you can still take her out. I Again, like she's her. She's not bad. No, she's good. I think she's a good character. I think she's well written. I just felt like she was a MacGuffin because in in the movie the whole thing is. Now, she Morta's built. pissed off because she built a machine that can find vibranium. And that's yeah. how they connect Wakanda with I like that. See, Atlantis. That cool. Well, um, where they're in the... They're on the Titanic. And they're well, like, at the end or the... At the beginning um, when uh, Namor first comes out and then they do the siren song. That's a freaking song. horror movie. Yeah, they do the that siren song. And then you movie. just see them all falling off the, the boat. Yeah. And then you just see Namor come up and he's like, you ain't escaping. Yeah. You're not. <laughs> and he just grabs the helicopter. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. But That was badass. I thought they were going to do more of that. Like, show his strength, but he... Well, that... Oh, no, he just gets both he's, he's still... Yeah. Well, it was hard to defeat, but... um, not Since we're actually. talking about Namor, I enjoyed him, and, and, I've, and I'm sure we've talked about our previous episodes. I hate that freaking character in the comic books. Yeah, he's like, a jerk. Like, I hate him. He's a dick. Yeah. He to me in my mind the only thing he wants to do is sleep with um the invisible Zoom. woman. Zoom. Yeah. Like that's all he wants to do is bang that uh, bang her, bang white queen. Like that's all he wants. It's like he has a superiority complex. But goddamn Ryan Coogler, you magnificent bastard. The fact that he he brought a character that I hated and gave him like a Mesoamerican background and yeah, they, he looks cool. He looks he great. Looks cool. 
even with the little wings, the fact that it's like a rattlesnake noise and it's like yeah, like they made it scary. Cool clan. Yeah. And don't call him general yeah. or king. We didn't even talk <laughs> about Mbaku. Mbaku is great. Feathered yeah, yeah he's like, great. I mean, he's he, just a cool character. No, but I don't well, think yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's very, he's a good supporting character. One of my favorite scenes in the movie is, all right, we didn't even talk about this person. I think we need to talk about her. Was Angela Bassett? Angela Bassett in this movie still wasted though. No, I mean, I did not like how her character arc ended. I guess, but. That's why she it's needs. So if she is not nominated for a uh, like best supporting actress, that's bullshit. Because she, I think, carries this effing movie I wish so she was hard. The next yeah, that's what Christian was saying. Like I, Angela she, Bassett. No, yeah, I know, is, we're spoiling everything, so I don't care. That's oh, fine. That's okay. The fact that she was killed is bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. I did. I felt like they already killed enough characters to be like, okay, we, we need to kill her off. It's like. But th- but that brings the scene which I really liked, um, and I, I think Mbaku has one of my favorite lines, and I'm sure I'll probably mess it up because the beer's hitting me. Is that <laughs> they're they're burying her, and then everyone leaves, and it's Mbaku and Shuri. Yeah, that and was a good Shuri's scene. like like oh you come come to talk to you, the child, and he's like the fact that you've lost so many people in your lifetime, it's it would not be fair to call you a child. Yeah, and it's like I, I was like. That part. That, oh, no. oh yeah, because you kept going to the freaking bathroom because uh, the movie's so long. Yeah. But um, that was a great, yeah, that was a great uh, line delivered greatly. Yeah, he, um, <laughs> he uh, can deli- Yeah, I mean, he delivers things perfectly, which makes me happy that he becomes the king of Wakanda. Like he, the fact that in the first one he's just kind of like, kind of a little bit of a jackass. Like I'm he better than you. you. Yeah, we are yeah, 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 yeah. And he's yeah. in the character at the yeah. beginning. Yeah. yeah. And it's like we here, kill this little water man. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this fish man. Like yeah. <laughs> and he talks about how bringing wars is going to end up getting people killed. Like this guy is someone who cares about this fictional, you know, country. Yeah. And he's so cool. he's so cool. he is a good person to that serves the needs of Wakanda. Um, Iron Heart. I didn't enjoy the fact that she can build like an Iron Man suit again because it was like okay, we've seen enough smart kids already. Fine, but that's her character. That's how she is in the books. I just didn't think that the correlation between her and iron man worked i was surprised that she didn't create some some kind of wakanda armor you know because she was in wakanda for i mean so I, I didn't really understand any of her character at the end like why is her name iron heart why did she like carve out a heart i think be, I, I don't know maybe i'm making this up maybe it's the beer i think it, it's something to do with her dad who was a mechanic and she the, carved out a did, heart though did they say that you have a lot of or something or maybe maybe something maybe, maybe it was movie. maybe it was angela bassett that said that but because she felt be, like she she had been taken in by them but, but then i don't i don't even remember seeing the heart on the armor that she made you know yeah she just built this uh, that she has yeah, that iron man moment where she's like banging yeah the, which the i thing. didn't understand either because don't they have like sophisticated machines like, yeah, that cut everything yeah, yeah. But here she is using like caveman but, tools. Yeah. I also I I know you said you like that. I don't like that armor. That oh, anime like armor. It. I don't, I don't like, like. I like I the first it. armor that she made. Yeah, and... because it 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 harkened back to Iron Man, which is so weird that it has big, that correlation. Iron yeah. Man. I like that. Yeah. Armor. I like the fact that she looked like Ev from Wally. But um, I want to get back to the Noche Huerta as as like Namor again. Character I didn't care about made me care about him. He wasn't wrong. Like there's these. Yeah. I... Alex was talking about it a little. I, I, you very simplified his motivation, I think, and I disagree. I think I understand where he's coming from. Where he was like, the because of because of Black Panther, now everybody knows about Wakanda and vibranium, no. and that's like and the now, most hottest item that can yeah. destroy. Like that's you can create weapons of mass destruction. Like there's Tony Stark armor or like technology. Put that in with the vibranium, it's over. So the fact that it's like, hey, you let our secret out, yeah, and now they're coming for you. That means they're gonna come for me, yeah. And I have a duty to my people to protect them. And the fact that it's like, it reminds me of the Aztecs or the Mayans when people from you know from Europe came in and got everybody sick with disease. When they show that like um, his, his origin, origin story, story yeah. and and I think you said Betin that. He goes to bury his mother because they're basically mutants. They they drink like this flower. They gave him the power to to breathe underwater. They left because of basically the the conquest of of Mesoamerica. Mm-hmm. And when he comes back to bury his mother on land because that's where she wanted to bury or where she wanted to be buried because that's where she came from, 
and they start shooting at them. Yeah. Right and away. Right it, away. Yeah. With like, oh, demon, demonio. Yeah. And it's like, and then he's like, fuck, like, kill these bastards. Like, you're you're attacking us for no reason. I'm just trying to bury yeah. my mother in peace. And then the priest has the balls to be like, tu eres un niño sin amor. Like, you have no heart or no love. I'm like, you just, <laughs> you you're a man of me? God. And you started shooting. Like, no, 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 no. You are you not a man shooting? of Shooting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, no, yeah, I mean, I just simplified it because I, I feel like, they should have just made it a movie about. Oh well, yeah, that's the that's the whole thing. And so if we if we took out Ironheart, we wouldn't have them finding vibranium. And that was the thing that I think. I think me. I think he would have been awesome as a successor. Well, that saying like I should lead both of our countries. Mm. But I, I think that would have been awesome. I mean, I also like their, his uh, relationship with Shuri because they're both angry at the world. I don't think that Shuri's ma- uh, her what's yeah. the motivation of like. I want to burn the world because even Namor throws it. Na- oh, what did I say? Namor? Namor. Yeah. Um, how he throws it in her face. Like, what happened to having the world I burn? I was there that night. Yeah. yeah. And it's like. I heard you. You know. <laughs> heard and, what you it. Yeah. yeah. And, heard everything he said. And so, like, <laughs> the fact. What the? <laughs> yeah. So, I was like, I was like, yeah. Like, I don't understand why she was angry. The fact that she was Black Panther, you know, at the end of the day, she's the new Black Panther. I would have preferred Danny Guida because I think it would have made a, char- a stronger character arc. For her. She would have been great. And she's still my pick, but, you know, I just hope she doesn't wear that blue armor again. Yeah, um, they, they need to remove that. That's something that, you know, you it's in the comic book. We don't care. You don't need You don't need everything. it. And she had, oh my God, just like Sam Liu had the best, like, fight scene in the in the bus in <laughs> Shang-Chi. That her one was, fight I don't know, scene? That was the best fight. Oh. The other one on the bamboo, like, in Tokyo was awesome. Uh, or well, I like oh, the one in the bus. Ass. I I like the bus one, but... Danny Guida fighting all those, like, what, what are they called in, uh, it's not know, Atlantis, the but people. the Mesoamerica Atlantis, when she's fighting all the Mexicans, all the, yeah, the water she, Mexicans. Because um, he fights Namora? Yeah. Namora? Oh, yeah. she the Nam, bridge? Namorita. Um, she, the that fact that she's, fight. that's a, that was cool. I thought it was a great fight. The fact that she, she has no powers. It's all her skill, yeah. and it harkens back to like. Fal- and she kills them all. Well, yeah, but until they can't they come die back, until they yeah. come back. But she um, beats the because you didn't out see of Falcon and Winter Soldier, right? Right. Because there's this one scene in it. It's not a big spoiler. Like um, the girl, uh, one of the girls of the Dora Milaje comes out, and she's fighting. Uh, what's his name? U.S. Agent and Bucky and. USA just like, all right, you're Dora Milaje. All right, I've been trained by the U.S. Army. I, and then he, like, he has no freaking chance with her. In two <laughs> seconds, he's down. And then he's like, like, I, I, I could, I was not able to beat her. Mm-hmm. And, like, the fact that that's how good they are, the fact that they can stand up to people who have superpowers just showed me this is why she's needed to be Black Panther. I get that Shuri is, like, bloodline and it's passed down. But, yeah, I, but at the end of the day, I'm fine, whatever. Did I feel like the ending fight? wasn't well done yes yeah but then i know i know it was terrible yeah it it was because (laughs) but i understand reasons but i understand reasons i understand (laughs) well yeah it was two hours and a half yeah and it was did you notice how everything was in the same plaza tambien it's because it was during covid restrictions so it was probably hard to do and (laughs) so the fact that it was just them two i felt like the whole movie was (laughs) built up and then their fight scene was done yeah. Over like they baked the fish. That the, was how they beat Namor. The, the way <laughs> they gr- they grilled them, and then yeah. it's like <laughs> the way they went about that fish fight scene too doesn't make any sense because Namor beats the hell out of her, and she gets stabbed, and Namor's fine, and he's like, "All right, I want." She rips his little wings off his ankle. She, and she just says, "Eh, I'm gonna get superpowers." Boom! And well, she's super down, strong. And like, Wait, what? She is like Captain she America got strong. Stabbed. In the abdomen. She's and Captain she said, America. Nah, I'm good. Captain America I'm strength. Black she drank the flower. Um, but you know what? I, I oh, go no, good. No, no. no, I'm just saying. I I enjoyed it. I think it was it was too long. I felt they had the same issues of like pacing, like the Batman had. Yeah. Like the Batman had like thirty extra minutes, even when you thought the movie was done. That's how I felt. Like Bettine had told me. I that think that was another movie. Those two movies where. Ago. Where it should have just ended at the plaza. Like, they didn't need, yeah, like, you like have one week yeah. to, like, it's like, come on. No, it ju- you have it. You already built it up there. It should have been at there. At Wakanda yeah. already during yeah. that whole, when he invades, 
It should have been there and the end, and that's it. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. I was like, why are you. Because I think they were also trying to show that (laughs) even though he's like harsh and he's also respectable, even though he killed my poor Angela Bassett. But again, I think I think we've talked enough about it. But I just want to say, Angela Bassett, my God, Again, the yeah. acting in this. Yeah, she's great. Like every every moment with her was well, death aside, was not wasted. The fact in the beginning where she's at the United Nations and she's talking about that was how a great part that yeah. was like like they're like fucking or freaking Wakanda doesn't want to give up their vibranium. This is bull crap. You should but give it to us. Yeah. That's and Dr. Emil Hamill. Yeah, I know, right? And Richard <laughs> Schiff, yeah, maybe? that was awesome. And it was like she's like, no, if you guys. Try to pull this shit again and try to steal our Stop resources. I, as long as we don't say the effort is fine. Mm. Um, yeah, mm, um, but the, yeah, and it, so and by I, the yeah. way, here's proof too. Yeah, here the, yeah. your soldiers. But, that was, man. Yeah, that was awesome. Come on in, Dora yeah. Yeah. yeah, show them how they're and, wrong. Yeah. And not even my that, God. but they're gonna kneel. Yeah, like, that's mic drop. Oh, but yeah, she, she's great. I mean, she's great. That's yeah. why it's a waste. To kill. I yeah, I, I thought it was unnecessary. You I'm sure you could have been. She could have gotten really badly hurt. Yeah, See, well, that's what I'm saying. That Only it, mostly dead. Look, yeah. So so she's trying to save Chadwick. She can't. Yeah. But you know she's she's doing all that, and then she can't do it right. And then she uh, her mom is dying, and then she tries to do it again, and finally figures out how to save her mm-hmm. whatever by getting the Black Panther serum and giving it to her. Yeah, and, that and then right bam, too. she comes back, and and that's when Namor is like, "We're well, rewriting who is it. this." And, yeah. Oh and no! It's like, yeah, I'm, I am the queen of Wakanda. Yeah, I'm the queen. Um, I, I have it. lost everything. Oh my god! Hey, let's try. Oh, god, damn everybody, it. If, see, even yeah, she was we didn't great. talk about Lupita Nyong'o. I think she was great. I yeah, know she was great. happy that she got to speak Spanish because she was born in Mexico. So, oh, she was. Yeah, yeah. Oh. she's Mexican. She's half oh, Kenyan, half Mexican. She's and, cool. Yeah, she's awesome. She's great. Um, she has A-Train's costume. I, I still felt that the what? character... Of, she has A-Train's costume. A-Train? Oh, A-Train from uh, The Boys. The boys uh-huh. Which I was kind of... I was like, oh yeah, it looks like A-Train. Um, she was good in it. She's great. Oh. No, she's she, great. When she talks about how everybody lost the king, but she, he was her everything. Yeah, that yeah. was great. That was like, oh, yeah. And... The baby Chadwick was also great. The, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I still feel T'Challa was a character... That holds so much importance that I I I felt like you could recast them like a James Bond or a Batman. Um, you guys already said that you don't think so, so it looks like you guys agree the fact no, that you I could mean, make another Black Panther, but it can't be T'Challa. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It could be T'Challa. No, See, no, I don't think so. But I'm I'm I think the fact that Ryan Coogler wrote a movie with T'Challa and then at the ending, the fact that he did such a quick turnaround is is well, I can't even think because the beard's hitting me. Uh, mm-hmm. It shows how good of a writer. Director oh, Ryan Coogler is awesome. Yeah. I, I love Ryan. So, Coogler. but then, oh, so what did you think about that? That uh, that ending when we introduced, I guess, the future Black Panther, the once in future Black Panther, the new T'Challa, the fact that he had a son with. Do you think that was the right way to go then? The fact that he has a kid, and I'm sure it being Marvel, I mean, I don't think he's going to be. There's a right way to go, but I yeah. think that's cool. Like, like it, I, for I, the I, fact that the way he since he passed and they didn't recast him was. You're fine. You're you like the fact that they went this way. I I like. I think I what I like is the thought of like T'Challa or Chadwick Boseman saying, you know, I don't want my son in any of this nonsense. That he was raised away I from Wakanda to live a to normal, live a normal life. life. I yeah. think that's all. Like I I can see both Chadwick Boseman doing that and T'Challa doing that. Like I think that's an awesome. I thought article. it was gonna be that movie was a lot of it was like sad. Like the whole movie is about it's about grief and it's just so See, somber. And, and those parts are filmed great. Yeah. Like that he knows how to make a drama, and that's why I kind of almost wish no, same, that same. was yeah the movie. But again, that, at the yeah. end of the day, it's a Marvel movie. And you well, need to you're do that. wrong. So. Okay, <laughs> whatever. The, <laughs> the, the only yeah. other thing that I think with the child, like the only thing I didn't like, but and maybe it goes like maybe it is done right in this movie, but. Um, when she, when Shorty meets, uh, Michael B. Jordan, he's like, it could have been T'Chaka because he's a douchebag who mm. killed his brother. <laughs> and it couldn't have been T'Challa because he was too noble. <laughs> that to me, I was like, no, don't say that. Like, I, what I kind of wanted Shorty to do is like, I wanted her to, to go into that dreamscape and think she was going to meet T'Challa. And like, you know, I think everyone does like these bad, like. They look terrible when they do like CGI's, like Paul Walker and 
uh, Fast and Furious. He's like, yeah, yeah. And, and it looks so bad. Mm. But, like, I would have liked to see, like, maybe you see the back profile of T'Challa, or maybe he's, like, on the throne or whatever. Or he's out of focus. Yeah. Like, like over here in the yeah. background. Like, she's yeah. trying to reach him, but She's can't. trying to, yeah, she gets closer and closer, and then that's when Michael B. Jordan's like, what's up, cousin? And he says that, like, you couldn't even protect your own brother. Mm. Like, he was the king. He, like, even fought for me. He tried to save me. Yeah. Like, he was the king. But you need to be something else. Instead of saying, like, oh, he was too noble. Like, I don't like that. I don't like Michael uh, B. Jordan kind of talking crap about him. I don't think but, I don't think that he's talking crap about him. I, I think he's, he's showing him that he's the better man. Well, he is the better man. He's like, he's way too good. He two shoes. You need to be something uh, else. I think it should have been like, you're not. You need to be something else. No, no, no. Uh, but I that's think, the I only thing fine. that I was like I think they should I just wanted to see another T'Challa moment where she's trying to get to him yeah and he's just maybe they, I mean they, he's just they, a they little bit that. out of reach yeah. for her right. I think that would have made me like oh man yeah. there's my there's <laughs> boy I mean you know go, just going back on that like you saying about the right choice recasting him and I don't I'm not saying there is a right or wrong choice yeah. you know um, I I'm saying I like the direction that they went that that you know what he did die, and yeah. and it makes you know, it more I, realistic. I yeah, guess. so it just I, it I makes it like even it. worse uh-huh. because he just came back in Endgame only to be like, ah, oh, you're dead yeah. again. But, which would make him like the shortest tenure as king. But again, I guess the most memorable because he was such a good guy. I mean, see, and that I Chadwick Boseman kills it in everything he's in. like. Yeah, he, what's I the the most? I mean, it's debatable, but. The most memorable line in uh, Infinity War or whatever. And get this man a shield. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, Chadwick. <laughs> let's yeah. go. It's everything. It's every little... It's the long moment. It's that scene with... Three. Yes. It's a, <laughs> yeah. he's like, awesome. Yeah. When, when he's talking to Zemo about how vengeance almost consumed him. And it's like, not anymore. Like, I'm not letting that path, you know, get to me. Those moments, those big moments that are the moments he's talking to... The Killmonger about like let me save you. That's and why. That's why he's to the so little, good. To the little moments where in Endgame he's like Clint to me, and it's like yeah, wow. The fact that he re- in the first time they met, like hey, I don't you care who, who I you am. are. Yeah, I don't I need don't to know care. your name. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Yeah, and then in here is like awesome. Clint. The fact that he even remembered that, it's like it shows what what kind of person his character was. Yeah, he's so. all, he can be a tough ass king, yeah. but he's also your best friend, yeah. and he's everything. He's Chadwick is. All the He's women, too damn bad all the, I, I love the fact that there were all the, this was basically a woman movie. The fact that I didn't like was, I felt like it was a studio and I was like, we need a couple of white people in here, which uh, I like. I love Julia, Juliet Louis-Dreyfus. I don't think she was needed in this movie. And same Edward thing with Ever Ross. Because they're setting her up to be maybe For something. Thunderbolts. They're setting up Thunderbolts. Uh, yeah. And so it's like, which I'm like, dude, we need to type- cut. That's the type of scenes you need in the stupid shows that they make. And, and those could easily be a one-off special where yeah. where it's like you watch it, maybe the movie comes out and then that comes out later on Disney Plus and he's calling, you know, they kind of show some of the movie meanwhile and yeah. he's like calling yeah. up some people. You could have done one of those little, yeah, those little shorts that they used to do. The or it could have, or... yeah, the one shots, yeah. Or... He could have had the thing where he calls them and warns them, fine, have him in a scene because yeah. he was in the first one. And he does have a relationship with Wakanda. And I like the fact that he, he's like, they saved my life. I owe them everything. Yeah. So the fact that his duty doesn't come, you know, like, no, well, I work for the U.S. government. I have to do what they say. You know, he's like, no, these people are my friends and they're doing right by the world. And it's I'm not, a hobbit. Yeah. And, <laughs> and what? I could have felt like that could have been just one scene. And then do they do it? <laughs> what? <laughs> you want to repeat that? They come, I'm the Dora Milashi. Yeah. The Ju- I'm a hobbit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Wakanda? Really my Middle mission. Earth. Wakanda? Yeah. Middle Earth. Yeah. Have you guys met Gandalf? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that should have been like, they should release that. At the same time, they release it on Disney Plus. Yeah. Like once Black Panther Two: Wakanda Forever goes on yeah. Disney Plus, they should like that uh, the Disney or the uh, ho- the holiday special or the Christmas special for Guardians or Werewolf by Night. You could have done that as like a one hour movie, and you could have done like this was happening during yeah. Wakanda Forever, and you do Iron Heart and uh, Everett Ross or whatever. I just yeah, I felt I felt her Iron Heart needed a better way to I don't know. 
put her in the movie because yeah she's just used as like oh we need we want to put a character in there let's just blame her and then but like namor forgets about her almost right away but um oh, namor, they stole her back yeah namor great um i i want to see his character more i know they can't do a namor movie because oh, yeah, universal yeah <laughs> Uh, because it, Universal, same thing with the Hulk. They, they Universal owns the rights oh. for a single movie. Universal's not going to give up those rights. I hope to see him in what Secret if Wars. A combo and all movie with Hulk and Namor. I know, right? They uh, do it. Uh, what are you have to call it? Oh, uh, the, the Defenders. Oh, the Defenders. It's what? Doctor Strange, Namor, Hulk, and Silver Surfer. Um, They're the Defenders. Uh, what are the four called? Aren't they called like the Four Titans or whatever? Was with... Defenders. That's the Defenders? Yeah, the don't think about the Netflix crap one. Can I just no. say real quick, uh, this is, I mean, just going, rewinding a little bit. He was after that girl, okay? He was after Ironheart because she could build a machine. Well, couldn't they just make another machine? I don't know. Reverse what? engineer the machine. That they I mean, they don't even I mean, have to reverse engineer it because she, oh, he she did it for it homework. Yeah. And there's the machine and... I'm sure all of this stuff is documented. Yeah. How can you know. not? Well, I mean, I'm assuming it was you, you. Well, then you're just playing the guessing game on how how documented it is. Because if it was just on that boat, then he took care of the boat. All you needed to do was. But like they had, they're not just gonna be like, here's my homework assignment. Oh, right, ship that on the ship. Well, it's not like the profet- to... if it, if it I'm happened. I'm sure someone took someone a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. With all the technology. Well, the... she built that thing. She didn't give him no diagnostic. Plot hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what, Marvel? Over. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean that's it. Uh, I liked it. I give it a a solid B. Um, you guys say wait for if you haven't I seen think, it. No, I you can watch it in theaters. I I I like all Ryan Coogler films so far. I, he's always he's always done a great job. Yeah. All the women great um, in this movie. I think it's the most somber one. I think, um, but I think it's it's beautiful in its sadness. But I did think it was very long. I it's a good it movie. Um, I still prefer Black Adam. I think it's a better you know what? film than Black Adam. But I Black think Adam it's better is, than Black Adam. Like, Black Adam might be more enjoyable. It's more entertaining. It's a fun carnival ride. Yeah, right. it's... To me... Uh, turn your brain no, off. Have a good yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, what kind of forever is like you kind of need to listen and pay attention yeah. and be like, all right, yeah, I'm, I'm sticking through this. There's some pacing time. issues and, you know, it's overly long. But other You can than knock that, out in Black Adam and then still wake up and have a good time. All right. Angela Bassett wins... Uh, Best Supporting Actress. The and Golden Shuri. Pineapple. Which yeah. are... Co- those awards the are coming up. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Get back. Think, don't yeah. listen to it. <laughs> okay. We don't even... <laughs> <laughs> Go back to talking about Ezra Miller. <laughs> hey, Ezra Miller. Stay away from him. He might do cults. Okay. Um, All right. He's grooming people. Okay. Let's just... Um, okay, not a barber, on. but he let's, does groom. Let's, 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 let's move on. This is, So those were well, our reviews. I, this is a big extravaganza. We need, just to talk about DC real quick... And we need to stay away from Ezra Miller. Okay, yeah. So basically, <laughs> with all this DC stuff coming out, we talked about Black Adam. After Black Adam happened, Peter Saffron and James Gunn became the new CEOs of DC Studios, which are working on a 10-year plan. And just recently, all this crap started hitting the <laughs> the fan because there, Wonder Woman 3, Patty Jenkins had just brought in her her treatment for it and she quit she walked out she walked away because none of the heads of the ceos michael deluca of wb um said if they didn't like the movie or didn't like the treatment they wanted her to rewrite it she said no she walked away uh right now dc studios patty jenkins yeah oh, so yeah. she's she quit the whole thing right yeah she, so man. do you the fact that she didn't want to rewrite her treatment what happened was michael deluca they said that the treatment had problems of wonder woman 84 and like character arc stuff and and then she's like no you don't understand me you don't understand the character you don't it has great character arcs and she walked away and then she sent michael de luca according to sources yeah. she sent him a wikipedia link telling him what an, a character arc is so oh. one do we care that she's gone she made one great wonder woman movie i haven't and seen then, that one no you didn't whatever. see the first one no, she I made wonder woman 84 Wonder Woman 84. Yeah, the last 20 minutes were bad. Of which one? The first Wonder Woman movie. That wasn't her fault because they documented it. it was I don't WB care. told she her. She made that movie. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you, you make this argument all the time. They, they make the movie and it's done them. No. And I agree with it on this one. All right. Yeah. I mean, look, I'm going to say, are, are we ha- You US? Am I happy she's gone? I don't care. Look, yeah, she. I like the first one. The second one, 
I feel like not only did it suck, but it it really sucked. It was a waste. It was and, a waste of time. Yeah, and so I'm not glad that she's gone. I like that because she could have, you know, she could have redeemed herself. Every every anyone is capable everyone of making is, a bad yeah, movie yeah. and good movie. But like so, but Joel yeah, Schumacher. But but whatever. Okay, she's gone. Spielberg. Get somebody else. But the, I think the thing that that's just upsetting is like. Yeah, she didn't want to take notes. I don't know what kind of notes they were or whatever. But basically, they were saying that with... Well, there's conflicting reports. Part of it says it wasn't part of the plan. And they said, we're willing to give you more time to write something that fits in this new DC universe that we're trying to build. But she was like, no. Um, and she she walked I, away. See, I saw 84 completely. I well, The kids were all around, so I couldn't hear as much, but... I didn't mind that movie as much as like a lot of other people. I That's thought it was crazy. fine. It's just, it's just, um, it's like super long, and there's no action, and there's no. Yeah, I, I. There's think just it, weird character things that they do in there. We saw it on HBO Max. Yeah, I think it's a perfect HBO Max movie. Yeah. I think if you went to the theaters, <laughs> yeah, I would have. Oh God! But yeah. I like. I'll say I think it has really good scenes. I, I like that the mascara scene a lot. That beginning that, part was great. That's probably the best part of the movie. Yeah, that's probably the best part of the movie. It's a good time. That's the first um, like ten minutes of the movie. It's a good time. Yeah, I, I that, like it's that. It's a good time. Uh, I think Chris Pine does a good job. Uh, I well, like him. Well, that's what I'm saying. The actors, I think, do great. I just but, think the story's kind of lame, and I and everyone complains about I guess how she takes down Maxwell Lord. Mm. I think it could have been better, but I kind of like that she's not killing him. Or like she's like, look, like she snaps let me his show neck. you the error of your ways because I'm better than than uh, Zack Snyder Superman. Um, <laughs> I'll tuck you down. Uh, yeah, like I'm a goddess, but I'm not really a god. But like, let me tell you, like how you could be a better person. I, I I'm I kind of like that. Like that makes the that puts the wonder on Wonder Woman. She yeah, can but then you're you basically there. telling people who wish for their friend's cancer to go away or their mother's cancer to go away, be like, no, you're being selfish for doing uh, that. No. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean... I wanted to F over, my boyfriend who died uh, 80 years ago, but overall, that's... Overall, yeah. it's not See, that See, now you're getting way into it. Yeah. It's not that great of a movie, right. but it's like... The trailer is my favorite. Oh, the trailer is really good. Yes. yes. That's, uh, do you do you care that she left? I like Patty Jenkins. Again, She's done a great movie. I don't know what else. What else is she the done? The Killing, uh, Monster. The Killing? With, she, yeah, with uh, Lyndon. With Lyndon? Yeah. She's not Lyndon. Yeah. 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 Genko yeah, she directed the pilot. She did a bunch of episodes. She's a producer on it. But so she, what, oh, that's it? The killing in Wonder Woman? Yeah. And then she, I don't care. But like, that's the thing. That she's walked away from things because she was supposed to do Thor Dark World. She walked away from that. Which was probably, you know, good good on her because that movie sucked. That was a um, movie. She, she was supposed to do Cleopatra with, with Gal Gadot. That didn't happen. Or she walked away from that. Um, I... I, she was supposed to do a Star Wars movie, Rogue Squadron. She was supposed to do the first Star Wars movie that takes place after ugh, Rise of Skywalker. And uh, but I don't know what happened with that. Yeah, I don't. I mean, if you're gonna walk away from something just because someone gives you notes or someone didn't do exactly what you wanted to do, then like I oh, think I like, think come on, get over it. The only point, person I will defend till the end of time that does that is Brian Fuller. At, yeah, he always walks away from everything. Yeah, but he's also But he is a fun guy to listen to. Um, I will say that the first one was studio mandated. She a lot of stuff she she got, she wanted to do that that no man's land scene. WB didn't want it. That's the best scene of the movie. But they ended up telling her, like, we need big explosions in the last 30 minutes of it, you know. And she's like, fine, I'll do that. Second one, she got to do what she wanted. And what ended up happening? Not the best movie. Third one, I feel like, you know what? Things didn't. You did a great first one. Second one didn't work. Here are the notes. We have new. We have new people in charge of you, like of you guys, and you know. And if you don't want to play ball, then you know what. She has every right to walk away. She's an auteur. She can. She wrote. She writes. She directs. She produces. She doesn't feel right. Then she can walk away. I'm kind of sad that she's walking away. I I would love to see another Wonder Woman with her, but you know. I don't care. But yeah, I don't care. I there are so many directors out there. That... Yeah, I I don't. All care. right. Well then. It, she had, she had two chances. What okay, well then so, well what do you think about right now what's going on with DC? The biggest thing is everything is in flux. Hollywood reporter came out, they're talking about how maybe everybody who Zack Snyder casted in his movies gone. They might do full on reboot. That is a scenario that they're talking about. 
that it might end with Aquaman, Jason Momoa's Aquaman movie slated for next year to be the last movie, and they might do a whole reboot. James Gunn came out, and I, this is what I respect about James Gunn is he is a fan, but he also doesn't feel beholden to like have to do exactly what people want him to do. And, you know, he had come out in response to the Hollywood Reporter telling them like, some of this is true. Some of it is not true. Some of it may be true. Some of it we haven't yeah. decided if it's true. And like one, um, I'll, I guess I'll go first. I trust James Gunn. If he decides to do a clean slate and reboot the universe, I can't fault the man because we've had DC movies that have not worked. Would I be sad? Yes, because there are, I think all the actors that Snyder... Like, I still, I really like the Zack Snyder Justice League movie. Uh, yep. Man of Steel is one of my favorites. Wonder Woman, Shazam. Shazam is great. Um, but then you get things, Black Adam didn't really work, maybe. I didn't, like, it's okay. I would want to see The Rock as Black Adam. Um, but if, they, if Ezra Miller is just a big freaking problem onto himself. And, you know, you know. Onto himself everyone. and others. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> themselves. Sorry. But, yeah, and to others. God. But... Like what a jerk. one, do you feel it's Miller time. like I? The fact that we got Cavill back, <laughs> yeah. Jesus. no Miller, no Ezra. <laughs> yeah, you've been Ezra. <laughs> Jesus, I'm taking you to the Speed Force. Okay, yeah. Wow. Well, we're, this is what happens when we come back. Jesus. All three. So no God. Ezra. No Ezra. Ezra. <laughs> Just imprison yourself. Yeah. Oh my God. You need the Phantom Zone so, before that thing ends. All right. Oh God. So basically, I, the fact that we got Henry Cavill back, and then maybe he might not be back so far. All right. Shoot, Alex. What do you think? Full reboot? Keep something? What do you think? I think James Gunn is in a position right now where he's on a roll. I think he wasn't before, and I think he knows exactly what he's doing now because he's having such a great job or such a great time. If they decide to reboot it, I think he can do it in a way where it's a multiverse. And he's like, you know what? They're not rebooted. They're just in a different universe. Mm. And this is another universe. And if we want to bring them back. We'll bring him back. And I think that's what James Gunn is. I think James Gunn has a plan. You trust? Okay, yeah. All right, good. Follow-up question? James Gunn is shooting in all cylinders. There you go. Uh, Follow-up question, and this, I think, <laughs> pertains more to you than either of us, because this character means more to you. Aquaman. They say that maybe that with Aquaman ending, if it does end and they don't keep him as Aquaman, Perfect. he will be Lobo. Perfect. Jason Momoa has never been my Aquaman. I like him. As, I, I, I like him, and the Aquaman movie is fine. But I want my Aquaman to be a royal Aquaman. I want him to be Sean Bean in Game of Thrones. So if More he shooting. becomes Lobo, I think that's perfect for Jason Momoa. That's where I want him. He needs to be the cool surfer dude, and he he's a badass, kick-ass dude. That's great. Badass perfect. bastage. Yeah, bastage. All right. Yeah. But then, what do you think? Yeah. I, you know, I was thinking about it last night, and or the night before. But yeah, it, it would suck for him to reboot everything. But if he, if we really need to, the DC needs a win, and I think at this point, yeah, they haven't really delivered. It, yeah, if you reboot it with a clear plan, then, then yeah, just go for it. Uh, it sucks that those actors wouldn't be there anymore, but but you know, I I'm of the mindset too, where it's like, I don't even care if they have a shared universe. Or if they're one-shot movies, like, you know, I, I think they were saying, like, oh, we can't have two Batman on screen. Why like, not? Why not? Like, n no one is going to, the the mass, ge the general audience does not care. They're going to go see a movie if it's a, if it's a movie. They're not going to yeah. be like, oh, is this connected to this? No one's going to care. I think more people... Yeah, like, I disagree. Spider-Man in the, a movie and people love it. Yeah, I yeah. think people disagree more now because Marvel set the precedent of it being like, everything's connected. And now but everybody they're feels... they're not Marvel. They should they're not. They're not. But, and that's the thing, too, though, is like, I think people... Again, the general audience doesn't know. They just know that Marvel just connects kind of with each other and they like the characters. And, and that's really it. I think it's just the... Like quote unquote nerds that really go for all that connected stuff, but but most people aren't going to care mm. if the movies are good. People will go see them, and if if they're connected and build up to something, then the nerds will love right. it. Follow yeah, up I, question for you then, because I th again, like Alex with Aquaman, how this feels. 
Henry Cavill or no Henry Cavill? If you had your way, which one? I think he should come back. All right. Because, it, and, and I'll say this, Brandon Routh got screwed over, and maybe they should have kept him on. Um, but, you know, that's it. Or well, they could bring him back. Uh, Multiverse, uh, but but like crisis, yes. you know what? Just people like Henry Cavill right now. Just keep him. What? Did, no one again. No one is gonna care. Like if it, it or whatever. Jamie you know what? Lee Curtis I'm came fine. back like three times in three yeah. different timelines and, of and, Halloween, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. People will still eat it up. They don't care. <laughs> But yeah, I'll drink your milkshake. Yeah. But yeah, I, like James Gunn's Eli. already proven it with the Suicide Squad, where you can either take Suicide Squad, the first one with David Ayer, mm-hmm. and be like, it wor- it, it, it happened or it didn't happen. Yeah, he already made it make sense, yeah. so he can make anything yeah. make sense. Yeah, he got yeah. it. He know he loves and respects these characters so much, and as well as the actors. That he's not going to screw them over if he can help it. He's like Feige, but he's also, like, he's a director. Where So, I mean, I, I have faith in him. Um, when that whole crap happened, when he got fired from Marvel, I remember I, I had written him to his Facebook. I'm like, dude, I know you're going to land on your feet because you're too good. And, you know, and all that Twitter stuff that happened, he had apologized before people were, like, forced to apologize or whatever. Like, he took it upon himself. But he is a fan. You're right. I think he's – him and Saffron will probably do a great job. At this point, whatever they decide to do, I just like I rather see the actors continue. I rather them keep going. But whatever they do, I'm fine with at this point. Um, you're right. DC needs a win. They're not Marvel. They should not try to be Marvel. And so they should got to do their own thing. There are things that they work. Before he got fired from Marvel, I think there was he was supposed to be in charge of all that universe, like the outer space stuff of the Marvel universe. Oh, I remember that. So, but like you know in what? ten years, it's not even gonna matter. Mm-hmm. I think. Uh, People are going to forget about it, and, you know, it's just going to be whatever. All right. But, yeah, I think this is the end of the episode. Oh, my God. Thank you. That was This was a super long episode. We love you guys. Thank you for listening. We're going to keep this up. Um, Stay and we'll try away to do. from Ezra Miller and get back. <laughs> Aren't you glad we're all back together in the same room? We love you guys. And that's a wrap.